This episode of Your Mom's House is brought to you by Sattva Luxury Mattress, the only online mattress company that provides free delivery, setup, and mattress removal. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Your Mom's House with Tom Segura, Tom Segura, and Christina Pajitsin. Welcome to Your Mom's House. What it do. <laughs> you know what I mean? I like this music. I like it too. Whoa, I like that. Oh, snap. Catatonia by Canon? Canon? Pretty C- rad. C A N A A N. I like it. Mm. I like it. Uh, Where are you going to be next, Jean? Well, Jean, I'm going to be February 23rd at West Siloam Springs, Oklahoma at the Cherokee Casino. February 28th through March 2nd, Madison, Wiscamania at the Comedy Club on State. Tickets are moving very quickly for that, The fill, filling up fast. April 4th through 6th, Minneapolis, Tits, Minnesota at the Acme Comedy Club. May 10th and 11th, Tempe, Arizona at the Tampon Improv. May 31st through June uh, 1st, Burbank, uh, Sperm Bank, California at the Flip Harris Comedy Club. And then June 20th through 22nd, Washington Dickcom at the Dickcom Improv. Also, I've got some other stuff coming up. I'm going to be looking at you, Chicago. I'm going to be looking at you, Boston. Um, so stay tuned for those dates. Those, those will be in the summer sometime. Tickets at Christina P. online. Jean. Here is a big update for me. This is crazy okay uh may 5th may 5th i am adding my fifth show at the moore theater in seattle washington all right um that's on sale uh june 28th i'm adding my second show at the orpheum theater in wichita kansas that goes on sale at 10 a.m local time this wednesday and we also added a second show in hampton beach new hampshire that is August 10th. So those are it's the deep uh, summer, bro. Yeah, those are the new the add-ons and then I can tell you an update as far as the uh, ticket situations for some of these shows. Uh, this week there's some single tickets left. That's it in um, late Pittsburgh and like less than 100. So you'd be sitting alone but in Cincinnati as well. Um, you can still get tickets March 9th to the uh, Hard Rock in Hollywood, Florida. You can get tickets uh, March 26th. March, excuse me, March 26th. March 26th. So stupid. I know. He fucked that up really good. Uh, that's um, in Portland, Maine. Late Show has been added in New Haven, Connecticut. That's March 30th. Come Connecticut. And then the Late Shows in Madison and Milwaukee. That's April 11 and 12. They have tickets. The early shows are sold out. You could also try to get tickets to the late show in Nashville, Tennessee, April 14th. And there is a late show April 28th in Medford at the Chevalier Theater. Those are all my updates. TomSegura.com. Go to the tour page. Uh, Jeans are at... Your tickets are at... To Christina P. Online. There you go. Did you see the shirt I'm wearing? Yeah, you're wearing a Sub Kane shirt. I found this deep in my closet, dude. That's pretty I put rad. this away. Yeah. I, had to, I was so excited that I found it. I barely fit into it. but That's that OG shirt. That's, uh, that's what he was talking about. I know. I, could, I squeezed like one tit in. That that's really, how I did it today. That one blew up, man. That was a yeah. big shirt. This big is... Shirt. Limited edition. <laughs> <laughs> you stupid. That was so fun. Uh, stupid. That was I so know. Fun. I keep thinking about what a, what a charming gentleman he was. Yeah, it was great, man. It and I, great. it was so exciting to see you so stoked. That's what everybody kept messaging me. They're like, I've never seen you so happy. And I know. And it's funny because we stopped rolling and we were taking photos with him and you were just ear to ear. And I said to him, I'm like, listen, birth of the children didn't matter. Yeah. This was Tommy's prom. That's what you said to Big you know. Daddy Kane. You're like, this is Tom's prom yeah. meeting you. So like, excited. He was like, okay. All right, I gotta get out of here. <laughs> yeah. He's like, you guys are fucking okay. dorks. All right, weirdos. Uh, Gene, there's a lot to get into. We have amazing guests today. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Why don't we go ahead and kick 
the party oh boy. off. This guy looks interesting. Let's start looks like the a, show. I just hope um, that there's some woman or women out there um, who really like um, having their pussies licked. Okie no, I knew it. Why do I know oh, it's this? Randy. Don't bring anyone love into this. <laughs> where the fuck is that? Welcome. Come on. Welcome to your mom's house. <laughs> With Tom Segura, Tom Segura, and Christina Pajitsin. Christina Pajitsin. Welcome to your mom's house. I know remember i was like what's the opening clip is it gonna be pussies dick fart and it was exactly what you wanted <laughs> it was a super cool guy uh can we see that again i want to see his very first clip again uh, i just hope oh uh, i don't like his voice i, like I his just voice. hope Ugh. um that there's some woman or women out there mm -hmm. um who really like um having their pussies licked <laughs> that's cool that's guy. all I really. <laughs> that's a cool guy. That is a cool guy, right? I think a lot now of women there's like. There's a cool guy. There you go. Should I that think be a louder. Of... Should that be louder? Yeah, that's good. good. He says it's good. Okay. A lot of women like getting their pussies licked. It's really. Yeah, you could raise it a little bit. Oh, okay. It's really a matter of who's licking it. It's Why can't we're you not lick just it? indiscriminate lickers. It's got to be like. I want Somebody this. you want to put their mouth on your stuff. Why does it matter who puts their mouth on you? Does it not matter for you? No. <laughs> <laughs> of course not. Like when, when you're out on the road and your cool beaver bus, the bang bus. <laughs> <laughs> the bang bus allows anyone who's down to bang on it. Oh, wow. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I don't have any. There's no rules. There's no rules on the bang bus. <laughs> no. Are you down? <laughs> you want to bang? You got a mouth that I can put stuff in? Do you really? I, I cannot believe that somebody has standards for a mouth. I mean, I understand. Are you serious? I understand a vagina, okay? Like, I, I'm, you know, it's like, yeah, you're not just going to F whoever. But if someone's like, put your stuff in my mouth, I don't care. Put your stuff in my mouth. Yeah, there's no, like, standard for that. What do you mean? I'm sorry, I don't understand. I'm saying, like, any woman who was like, do you want to put your stuff in my mouth? I'd be like, Okay. But what about the women with no teeth or like Better. the moose soup lady Fine. or like sores on her mouth that doesn't bother you? Sores, I mean, now you're starting to talk about something that you visually can see as a problem. Yeah. But like if somebody who's just like, <laughs> you know, undesired, unattractive, I'd be like, yeah, you can still put it in her mouth. I guess that's true because like lot lizards, <laughs> you heard of those people? Have I heard of them? The, the, Where do you think we sleep on the road? We pull into those <laughs> lots. The bus lives in the lot. Lot lizards, they're they're like nasty chicks that suck dicks, right? Yeah, they just hide in the bushes, <laughs> and they're like, you want you yeah. wanna, you wanna get a little sucky done? Ugh. Yeah. And how much do you have to pay the lot lizard? No, lot lizards live on it. That's how they live. <laughs> they live on cum. Yeah. It's like a cum dog. Uh, you know El Chapo. <laughs> I do. I know him. Yeah. El Chapo. They just so he's on. He's in having a trial right now in Brooklyn. No. Oh. For uh, just. A lot of crimes, Just let's being say. being a cool guy. Yeah, conspiracies and murder and trafficking. Yeah. And somebody testified that they would procure underage prostitutes for him. Mm. Um, and he was getting like young teens. Mm. And that he said that they were, that when he, <laughs> when he had sex with them, that they were vitamins for life. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty out there. But can I tell you that? <laughs> I mean. It's not that out there for him. I feel like a lot of guys believe that like <clears throat> my dad i think that <laughs> oh my god i think there are men out uh, there who sincerely cool, think cool guy club <laughs> <laughs> the guitar yeah. riff gets me yeah. that but don't you think that like there's a lot of older men, gentlemen out there that feel like young pussy is the fountain of youth well yeah they're not wrong i'm right. saying that like <laughs> but the uh, like the, you, you get the vitamins in your peener you i think able to <laughs> being able to uh 
categorize it and describe it as vitamins. It's very articulate it's and creative. Articulate and really out there. And accurate, too. It is accurate, but yeah. I just, you know, usually when you hear it spoken, you go, oh, wow. Yeah. Hearing it is different. You know? yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like I always knew it took place. Yeah. But that description really sticks with you. you know? Right. That description. And also, because you and I are really into the show Love After Lockup. Oh, my God. I So into it. That and the there's, a, there's a guy on there who's married to one girl. They have one two-year-old and then they have another baby on the way. She's pregnant. He's married to her and then now he's in love with another girl and he's going to propose to the other girl. Yeah. Women are both unaware of the other one. It's pretty fantastic. He's just out of prison, so he's on parole. Like the guy doesn't have a job. He has nothing lined up. And his thrill is to be a liar face to these two women. He's pretty scary, actually. It's he's probably like the scariest how, yeah. guy. Yeah. Um, and I, they don't tell you what he what he was locked up for. Well, they, they say it's a parole violation, but you don't know what the original crime was. But that that dude is the scariest by far of everybody. Because he enjoys the attention of like, baby, I got to go now. And that girl's crying. And, and you can see he, him. He's like, stop crying. He keep crying. Eyes. Stop, stop, stop crying. He I has, mean, keep crying. He has dead eyes. Yes. And he um, he toys with them. He's like a yes. real master manipulator. A narcissist. He's scary. Yeah, he's kind of scary. Ooh, dude. that's so scary. I know, but the show is unbelievable. Here's some advice, by the way. Uh, this yeah. is what I got from watching that show. Uh, don't reach out to convicts. <laughs> they're, they're terrible people. Yeah. Not all of them, I'm don't, sure. Don't start dating people <laughs> in prison. That's what the show... <laughs> that's that's the, lesson. the lesson of the show. Or don't try to marry them and try to get them to be normal people after Well, what happens out. is everybody is this, like, they're all the same, the ones who reach out, like, they yeah. want love. You can tell that. They're like, they, they want love, right? That's what they but, want. But, yes, they the want love. The ones who are, who are reaching out to the, to the prisoners. Sure. They go on these sites, and then they find somebody who's, like, confined to a space and you go like, well, this, this person can't hurt me. It's ideal. Yeah, it's ideal. They can't leave me. They can't cheat on me. They can't do these, you know. And they, and they also rely on me for my affection and my attention. You see it. Perfectly you see it all. healthy relationship. It's a good dynamic. And then like they build the relationship <laughs> under those, you know, uh, parameters. Well, because yeah, the scales are so imbalanced. Like one is completely, it's like having a child. It's it dependent is. on the other. And it's And sometimes totally they're, they're doing that for a couple of years, two, three years. Yeah. That I've been communicating with you but you've been in this you know essentially like a submarine yeah. you know you can't go anywhere in it it's like and then it comes up to the surface and you finally yeah. get out and they're like well i want the dynamic to stay the same right but they no, can't because now they're finally free and they have this other life and they oh, can't be controlled and they're horrible people they're horrible people <laughs> <laughs> so they you're, now the horrible person starts horrible. doing the horrible things <laughs> yeah either it's their their drug addicts yeah they're liars they're closeted gays or bisexuals and then they or they use the the outside person for money on the inside this one chick is like i got eight hundred thousand dollars from tricks on yeah. the outside and the closeted $1. gay thing what she what she's uh referring to is basically don't you mansplain me well how dare because you because it sounds like you're saying like there's a problem with with the gays yeah well yeah you know, i mean they're all what wrong. you're referring to is somebody who basically didn't tell the person who uh, they've been dating on the outside that they yeah. in fact are gay or bi. So now the person on the outside is like, wait a minute, you like, <laughs> yeah. you know, women too? Uh, <laughs> I, I didn't know so. that. And he's like, uh, yeah, that's, oh yeah, I forgot to tell you that. Yeah. <laughs> so, Small detail. A lot of lying. There's, there's just a lot they of lying. They lie a lot. Yeah. Convicts lie a lot. Just like the gays. Yeah. Just the gays like are. the gays. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Well, so what does this cool guy want? He wants to. Oh yeah, can we pussy. go back to this awesome guy? Mm -hmm. He seemed really, really cool. He seemed like he just. He's just a to, sad. I just hope um, that there's some woman yeah. or women out there, plural, um, who really like um, having their pussies licked. Yeah. <sighs> that's He's that's nasty. all I really want, you know. Um, to be truthful, that's all I keep asking God for. I just, oh, God. <laughs> honest to God, just want to lick pussy. That's Ugh. that's where my heart's at. That's where my okay. mind's at. I got if it. you're out there and you're interested in me and you're a friend on this site of mine and you really want to have that done, okay, let me know. I got it. Because I'm seriously interested in doing that. Like, I know oh, you I, are. Yeah, it seems, I mean, it doesn't seem unreasonable, though. Well, when you're including it to your prayers to God... <laughs> He means it. 
like, dear God, cure my cancer. Yeah. Take care of my grandma. Oh, I want to, I want to like pussy. Like a lot of it. Yeah, man. I you just. think God gets that prayer a lot? I think, um, I don't know. I think putting it out there though is a cool thing. I think God probably <laughs> does get that prayer a lot. I really do. <laughs> I think yeah. God does. I think there's a lot of people out there who's like, please let me get my dicks out, God. Please. <laughs> like, yeah. What do you think God gets asked for the most? Money. Definitely. Yeah. Money, health, and then pussy licks. Yeah. I mean, I think a lot of people probably ask God for love, you love. know, which is kind of nice. Yeah, but I think, I think there's definitely, he probably gets more <laughs> sexual <laughs> prayers from men. <laughs> right. I was gonna say, it's mostly the guys that are like, please let me get my dicks out. Please let me. I think we actually, um, it's, it's probably fair to assume that God has his own um, <laughs> anthem in his head that goes, Now there's a cool guy. <laughs> <laughs> like every time that prayer yeah. comes in, he's like, here uh, we go. Here we go again. These fucking cool guys. Another yeah. guy wanting to get his pussy licked. Mm-hmm. His man pussy licked. I mean, that guy is not the most attractive for those listening. No. But... He's def- no. there's, some, there's a woman out there who would let it happen. Of for course. Sure. Look, if there's one lesson we've learned yeah. from love after lockup is that there's somebody for everybody. Yeah, and that's with, true. Yeah. With that's the true. internet now, you can find uh, anybody. There's some of those losers that um, <laughs> are, are reaching out to the, uh, <laughs> to the prisoners. Like they can get completely hosed. Yeah. And they're still like, I love her so much. <laughs> Jesus. It's so dark, yeah. They have such poor self-esteem. Now that's that's really the other <clears throat> key ingredient to yeah. dating an inmate is that you have really bad self-esteem and that's and why you And bad dating look. experience. Because they're also always like, right, there's always the, well, the last person broke up with me or dumped me or did yeah. this to me. So now, now I'm going to play it safe, date a safe. prisoner. Yeah. <laughs> And then they always put that person in debt. The prisoner, the inmate finds a way to siphon the money out of them. Jeez. They're all in debt because of the prisoner. Yeah, yeah it's, it's such depressing. a great show. It's great. Really yeah. a good one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> High five, buddy. <laughs> um, real quick, because uh, people asked us this and we wanted to make, uh, so last week, of course, the great Big Daddy Kane was on, which was oh, awesome. Oh, God. Really fun. Um, a lot of people mentioned or sent messages that there was something wrong with the video quality on YouTube. And that it was uh, that the highest resolution was 360p, and they're like, "What is up with that?" And you know, I started talking to Blue Band about it. You said that uh, you didn't know, and then you reached out to YouTube. What did they say to you? Right. Yeah, I reached out to our YouTube contact, and it seems like it's a bug. Uh, mm-hmm. It is now being escalated, so mm-hmm. they are currently working on trying to bring. But it's a YouTube glitch. Yeah, it's a. Yeah, it's, it's a, nothing it's a, it's that we did. Oh, yeah. Yeah. good. Yeah, this okay. is the first time it's YouTube. happened to us. I'm not yeah. sure why it happened. Okay. okay, so that was the main thing, though. It wasn't like we decided to record it or upload it differently. It's something internal on their part. Uh, right. All right. That's stupid. Um, Can I bring up something very quickly? Yeah, before yeah, before we have to... Yeah, we have to make Yes, I know. So. Le- before we bum everyone out, I just want to say that I had such a wonderful time watching you with your hero, Big Daddy Kane. And like I said, you don't really get joyful about much. Um but it was great seeing you just yeah. ear to ear with him. And it inspired me to reach out to my heroes. And I'm currently on a campaign to get Kim and Kelly Deal in here of the Breeders. Mm-hmm. Uh, Kim Deal, formerly the bassist for the Pixies. I'm a huge fan. You're a huge you fan. You might know this. I got to meet Kim once on the street and I practically I I was with you. shit my pants. We were on Hyperion in yeah. uh, Silver Lake. And I, I don't care about celebrities, but I do love the Deal sisters. I think we were walking by, say cheese. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, say cheese. And, uh, yeah, say uh, cheese. It's a cheese shop. And you told me to talk to her, and I yeah. did, and I was so scared. But guys, listen, so Kelly Deal, I've, I've reached out. Kim is not on Twitter, but Kelly is. And I've reached out on Twitter, and she's so far retweeted my tweet. She's liked the tweet. Oh, snap. I need your guys' help to get Kim and Kelly What's on her the handle? show. So here we go, guys. Let's get mommy power on it. It is at Kelly Deal, K E L L E Y D E A L. Uh, let her D-E-A-L? know. D E A L? Uh huh. Okay. Uh, and let her know that I would love to have she and her sister on your mom's house to plug any upcoming maybe concert dates. I know they tour as the Breeders. Anyways, there you go. I'm putting it out there in the universe. That would be my Big Daddy Kane, so to speak. And is this, this isn't your confession though, is it? Or is no, it? No. So I'm so embarrassed. What is it? I'm really, this is something I have not revealed to you. I kept it from you today. 
I kept it from everybody. This is You're a, scaring this me. This is an exclusive. It's, it's <laughs> this is a. You'll notice that I haven't reached for the fart mic today, and it's because this morning, in the kitchen, I was making myself a smoothie, and <laughs> and I farted, and then a little wet came. <laughs> <gasps> and and I wasn't wearing any underwear under my pajamas. <laughs> I don't I don't wear any underwear in my pajamas. And I'm standing in the kitchen <laughs> and I just farted, I feel like wet down my leg and I was like, I, I don't know where where that's from. <laughs> And I went upstairs and you were in the, remember you were upstairs and I was like, oh, I think I got to take a dump. Yeah. And you didn't know at that point or you did know? I, I figured it out. So you, you kept I, it from me. I kept, cause I didn't know if it was a shard or it could have come out of another. You didn't throw those pants away, did you? I threw them away. What? <laughs> They're in the trash can. It's just a little bit of shit. <laughs> Wait, but babe, I just want to know. How much was it? So here's the deal, man. Last night we had pizza, the cauliflower crust pizza with all those meat toppings. And so I, I sat down to do brown and it was like liquid came out of me. Yeah. So I sharded. And the reason I sharded, cause it was like liquid. There's a deal, man. <laughs> <laughs> but it was liquid brown. It didn't hurt like diarrhea. It was just all liquid. And is that what a shard is? It's like, it's not like, necessarily. I mean, a, a shark doesn't have to be exclusively liquid. No, because I had one in, remember when we were flying to Africa? That was my first shark ever. Yeah, that was smart of you. 2011. We were at the uh, <laughs> international Atlanta. terminal at Atlanta airport at Hartsfield Jackson, ready to board a 16 hour flight to Johannesburg. Yeah. And Christina's like, I'm going to get some tacos. You want some? <laughs> I was like, I'm good. And then. Three tacos. Uh, right away on that flight. She's like, I sharded. <laughs> But that shark was different because it was like a Hershey kiss mashed into the thing, <laughs> okay. into the panty. Oh, but man. this one was liquid, babe. God. It was like a, it was a liquid fart. Have you ever had that? Yeah. Yeah. You know when I had it? <laughs> when we lived in Redondo. I remember. I know exactly. Go ahead. We were on this, we were trying this juicing thing. Yeah. 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 And there was something called like something green, like yeah. all the green you need or some shit. Yeah. And it was a scoop of this powder. Yeah. So I was standing also in the kitchen. In yeah, I remember. Boxers, <laughs> and I farted. It was just liquid. That's what happened to me. But it was, I mean, it was big. I was like, oh. <laughs> and then it was just water, water works. That's what happened to me. And then the next day, I did it again. You did, you ate the same thing well, that gave you the shark? I didn't know for sure. I thought maybe, oh, something's up with my stomach this morning. Yeah. I did the, uh, the green powder again, farted. All yeah. water, yeah, and then I dumped the fucking powder down the sink. I was like, Oof. I was like, this is how you lose weight on this. Just, <laughs> it it gives you cholera, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it made me think about. Our, so you kept that secret. I kept it. I kept. I was a little ashamed because by the time I'd figured it out, because I thought, it, you know, I don't know what this is, and I sat down, and by the time I'd figured it out, yeah, I, I was shitting already, and I don't want to call you in and tell you, and then I was like, I should save it for the show because this is kind of a big deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but it made me think about the very important question, which is, do farts push the shit out? And I have to say, in the case of a shark, yes, they do. Yeah. Yes, they do push the shit out. Do you think it was pizza out. that did this It was you? the pizza. Hmm. It was, because that's really all I ate yesterday, and I ate a lot of it. And it was that cauliflower crust. It gives me farts and uh, bad dumps every time. God. Unbelievable, man. I can't believe I sharted. I, I just... 42 years old, and I had my first, like, liquid shark. Oh, boy. Isn't that exciting? It's really exciting. It's really yeah. something. Um, okay. Anyways, uh, so before now, we forget. On to the bat. Should we talk about the, uh, yeah, the well, real before, news? Before that, I want to uh, just bring up that this uh, Thursday, Dr. Drew After Dark starts. Oh. Uh, the audio comes out Thursday and the video will come out Friday, correct? So exciting. Yep. On our YouTube channel at yep. 12 p.m. on Friday, Dr. Drew After Dark the video will be uploaded. All right. The debut episode features your very own Christina P. Uh, we also have, uh, we have four in the bag right now. We sure and, do, yeah. And we'll, we're going to keep recording them. So yeah, we're going to keep going. It's it was, such a fun it's show. It's really fun. I did one. Uh, you did one. Bobby Lee did one. Yep. Yeah. Who else did uh, the other one? Uh, uh, Red Band. Brian yeah, Red yeah, Band. Yeah. And they're good Ooh. because doc, or Dr. Drew, I mean, he's just such a great talent and host, but like great at conversation. He breaks down clips. He really gets under the hood with you on different things. 
I, I really enjoy it. No, yeah, it's going to be fascinating. A great show. All right, so don't forget that that that'll just come on YouTube if you're if you subscribe to this, you'll just get the video update. So that'll be great. And then his great. his uh, audio, if you want to just download, you need to find Doctor Drew After Dark. But you can you can subscribe to it right now. Right, yeah. If you follow us on uh, on Twitter, uh, Drew After Dark on Twitter, mm-hmm. um, and also we'll be we'll be tweeting out the links to that too. So yeah, you can easily subscribe. And we give out the email and the phone number. You can like have questions read. Yep. And... Yeah, we'll have that ready to go. Oh, All right, wow. here's the big uh, update before we move on to some some clips here. Yeah, uh, it is over between us and Morton's. <laughs> I can't believe it. I'm, it's almost like one firing, okay, that was devastating. Yeah. Two firings from sponsors is kind of crazy this year. Yeah, Morton's fired us. Yeah. Um, over the weekend, and they said we just uh, don't fit their brand objective right now. Um, they don't fit our brand. They were upset that we, you did bring up the dry and the wet aged beef, but you didn't elaborate, I guess, was the problem. Yeah, they said I wasn't as familiar with certain products. You weren't knowledgeable enough about the product. I was just there last week, by the way. Yeah. And they treated me like I was a celebrity. That's always what they do before they fire you. They They pump you up. Yeah. When I got fired from Chelsea lately, same thing. God, you're doing a great job here. And then they fired me the next day. It's crazy, but yeah. So they fired us. (sighs) Again. Uh, I had to give a couple grand back to the... uh, the you know the people that initially gave it to us for the paint job here yeah um anyways so we're not with them but we still have steakhouse vibes so uh just putting a call out to any steakhouse that wants to be affiliated with this show well i think it would just be easier because we've already got the set painted like a steakhouse that if we could actually have a steakhouse sponsor us it would just be more convenient so look if you work at a steakhouse or you run one or own one and you know you want to (laughs) be affiliated with your mom's house just uh, send us an email your mom's podcast at gmail.com and make sure you put steakhouse in the subject line in this way there's no misunderstanding no misunderstanding and also you may want to watch the show before you sign up to be our sponsor yeah do do a google search for uncle terry ymh before yeah. you pull the trigger because you know what? We're not going to stop doing what we do on this show. No, of course for, not. For a, a GD sponsor, Tom. No, no, we're, no, we're not. We're not. We have integrity. That's right. We, and we're uh, going to do the show the way we want it. And We lost hey, millions of dollars. Dumb cats. Because of we did. the kind of show we do. But you know what? Forget it. I, the fans are more important to me. Keeping the show with integrity and doing yes. what we like is more important to me than any kind of sponsorship. I agree. Just so you know, guys. I agree. We're going to um, keep it real. So something else happened, and, and like, and look, we appreciate the time we were with with, with Morton's too. So we just yeah, tell them that a couple know. grand. And I'll still say they they make a great uh, steak. You know, they do. Are, will you still eat at Morton's? Wait, are we banned from Morton's? Or are we allowed? I don't to think go? we're banned because oh. all I all I saw. I mean, unless there's a follow up coming, was just that the relationship with the show is over. Gotcha. But we're still allowed on the. It's not like McDonald's where we're not even allowed in. <sighs> Southern California. Well, McDonald's. I had a hankering for a cheeseburger the other day, and I had to second, like, give it a second thought before I tried going through the drive-through because I don't want to get banned, recognized with my children. Yeah, car, yeah. You know yeah. how that it goes. Um, so something magical happened. Yeah, I know. You're you've been itching to talk about this guy. This is really cool. <laughs> so, wow. Do you know that like Haley's Comet? Yep. <laughs> comes yeah like once every i don't know 70 75 years, something 70 like years. That. sure 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 there comes a time yeah in one's life where <laughs> one can see something or someone mm-hmm. that gives a dose of like natural adrenaline there's an excitement it's right. you know what it's like yeah it's like when you, you ever watched back in the day american idol yeah, and then everybody it, it shows all the people who ah, can't hit yeah. notes and then someone comes in like i don't know kelly clarkson or somebody and you're like whoa star of the show you it's like you recognize star quality right. or you see that someone's special it's like the first time i saw gg allen yes and you're like this guy's a star yeah they have that charisma they have something unique it, it's very rare i mean you know we've been in comedy for a long time now and you know rarely do you see someone hit the stage where you're like wow, wow right that's special so this young man 
hit the. I can't even look. He's so his star quality is so bright. Yeah, you know you like, can't look directly. It's like there, I, there's a new social media star. Yeah, and for for whatever reason he was discovered. I would say even though he's been around, he was discovered over the weekend. People found his posts, <laughs> his videos. Yeah, and I was like, is this real? And there's <laughs> there's just so much going on with uh-huh. him. Um, I don't even know if I can set it up correctly other than like, why don't you just dip your toe in the yep. water okay. and see what's what's what here with this guy? I can tell you visually, a- visually already I am blown away. Yeah. No, he's got he's got his own unique style. I mean, like sure. this beard is, is is like like no other beard I've ever seen. He's got. <laughs> He's got the thin line. The, goatee. It's the Puerto Rican yeah, pencil but thin. It, but that's just in the goatee. But then he's got a beard separate from it, mm-hmm, and is mm-hmm, it has mm-hmm. its own designs. And then he's got mm. the shaved head, the diamond earrings, beards on beards on beards on beards. Yeah, go ahead. Eyebrows. Go it's ahead. been a while, hasn't it? I decided to make a video. Okay. Since I'm stuck on the 405. Oh, on LA. my way to Santa Monica. I think the topic of this video will be something a little more personal. Let's talk about why badass, good looking, rich guys don't have girlfriends <laughs> like me. <laughs> why is it that girls will date a guy that has half my wallet, half my dick, half my car, mm. half my bank, half my personality, half my looks, half my wardrobe, half my sexual prowess but they'll pass up a guy like me who's fun good yep. looking He's interesting right. yep. edgy educated mm-hmm. and wants to be a dad oh let's talk about that okay. let's talk about it i, I mean, like his teeth all, I, great beautiful teeth oh the dude is like i mean it looks great great teeth look at those eyelashes look at the, the brows are a fleek the fuck out oh dude. yeah man he's got like it looks like a this is one of his vehicles uh, Lots of stickers on the stickers on it. They it's tell like a, you I'm an individual. I like things other people don't uh, like. Yeah, it's like a pickup truck, but you could tell he's got like, um, you know, like he's got modified exhaust on it. There's just, there's a lot going on. Now, this is an interesting premise. I want to know before he's going to give the answer. Why do you think? <laughs> some women, I see no flags. I don't know what the problem is. But some, like, why do some women not want to date a guy who's got the money, the right, dick, the dick, the, the brows, job, the car that wants to be it. Like, you know what it is, Tom, some people's star shines too brightly. For that's him. actually true. Yeah. A lot, of, a lot of, some people can't handle a star. A lot of people can't handle it. I mean, some people can't, can't handle being around success. That absolutely true. They're intimidated. They're called it. haters, Tom. Yeah. And I think a lot of women out there maybe aren't seeing this guy's potential and maybe he needs to convince you and maybe, he, you maybe he needs to explain it to people. You might be onto something here. Let's, okay. let's keep going. As you get older, you understand it's actually a compliment why a guy like me is single and then I look around and guys that have big ass bellies or, you know, buy all their shoes at Kmart have girlfriends. Why do they have girlfriends and why don't I or... If you look too good and you got it going on, women are motherfucking hating cunts. Hey, they don't go. like to see you ball. Yeah, see my my theory exactly. Yep. They don't like to see you ball. Right. They don't like to see you succeed. They don't like you looking better than them. They don't want you being desirable. Right. Because that's going to make them vulnerable to you leaving their bitch ass. Yep. <laughs> you hit the gym, you ball in some fat ass Nikes or Jordans and yeah. you dress cool yeah. and you ain't got a girl, homie, it's a compliment to you. That means these bitches can't step up to your level. Yeah, this dude. I get it. Truth, knowledge, This is kind of insight, you know, that's what I'm looking for. Women are motherfucking hating cunts. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, so stupid, huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's so true. fucking dumb it's true yeah what do you think is true what he's saying that the they're not smart enough to see what he's got to offer i think that i think he's on to something with um with the fact that there's definitely some haters out there yeah and that when they when men or women see somebody who's really got it going on like this guy you right know, that they'll be like psh, psh, psh. i'm all what bro psh. Fuck, I'm faded, homie. I mean, it's true, though, right? 
Absolutely. I I've, think I've women seen that. are intimidated sometimes. And, you know, we have to see. We have to and they're intimidated dig deeper. Let's because, see what he's, what does he have to offer? Well, I mean, the, in this case, this dude's got a lot to offer. Right? <laughs> I don't take it personally. Look, I still fuck a lot, but those girls that fuck me, they're afraid to be with me. But they'll run back and be with a little boy who doesn't even have a car and lives with his grandma. Now, how does that make sense? Right. And um, like I said, women are internally very jealous creatures. Yeah. They're very insecure. They constantly measure themselves. And they're even competing with you as their boyfriend, as their husband, as their man. That's basically what's up. So you guys out there, it was a pleasure, man. Until next time. Bye-bye. So, so so he's saying it's the competitive nature in women that uh, that's why he can't have a relationship. I think he's making an interesting point. Right. I think you're right. I think he's also saying that, you know, in most, let's say, traditional relationships, mm-hmm. um, you find that in a lot of cases in the traditional relationship, the man goes, concedes that the woman is the star, so to speak. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. She's the looker. She's, you know, put the attention on her. He's saying, I got a little too much going on oh. to not be the one that shines. You can shine too, but don't think you're going to outshine me. Right. And he, 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 but he's also saying, yeah, that the woman is competitive and, and, and wants to take that star from him. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, you you know, I don't want there to be any confusion. This is not the cool guy club. Oh, this is not the cool guy club. This is the a different. What this, club is this? I, I think this is the rich guy club. Ah, the baller club. Yeah, where you're like you're you're genuinely. This really guy's cool. a superstar. Yeah, I mean, there's more. That's that's what I'd like nice to hear what he that, has to say. I mean, look, I hope there's someone out there worthy of him. Yeah, there's there's definitely more stuff. Um, he put out um let's see oh he did an instagram live so so just so you know he puts a lot of his stuff on instagram okay oh boy and he has um he has like he's got a lot going on according it's to hard instagram to look because he's got such a look happening <laughs> he's got a lot going on so well let me tell you first of all got listen a lot of money and a he's, lot of money he's lots he, of houses and he's told us mm-hmm. i got a lot of money I got a lot of houses. I got a lot of cars. Yeah. I got a private chef. You have millions of dollars in the bank. Right. Uh, I do. I, I hear. I don't mean to. Look, he is fabulous. Yeah. I'm, I like that. And we're going to watch another clip of him. He's toned down the facial hair. Right. Because that is from a few years ago. Oh, okay. So this is mo- updated. He's got a new hat. Okay. He's got some jewelry, which I honestly... It made me regret canceling my jewelry order. Really? Remember I, I bought that, um, I ordered that chain. Right. And I think it was Pete Holmes made me feel very insecure about the order. Well, it's it can not, it's not a great investment piece. Yeah, but it's about shining. It's about, you know, Yeah, on all the resale is not very good on Yeah, but I'm not going to sell it. It's about letting people know what time it is. Not right? letting them know. It's and, and so <laughs> anyways, this guy is definitely the, letting people know. This guy is a peacock. He's definitely a peacocker, you know, letting yeah. everybody see his plumage and not everybody's yeah. worthy. Yeah. Okay. Let's hear what he has to say. It's pretty cool. What we got in here, not even 400, man. The artwork, that wasn't $30, but thank you. This is one piece of artwork. I mean, y'all don't want to comment on the fact that I'm sitting in a $1,000 custom movie theater chair and I have five of them. I mean, retarded, man. This, all these people under 35, what's wrong with you guys? Why are you so angry, That's right. bitter? Was it 9-11? You guys felt robbed of your youth? Was it Columbine? Was it all these mass shootings that you guys got terror struck in you from your media and mom and dad? Mm-hmm. I mean, what the fuck? Yeah, I was happy. Socially conscious, too. I like that he's aware of these social issues yeah. contributing to the today's you That's true. Problems. You use the R word. But he, he did, did use the R word, and yeah. I don't appreciate that. Yeah. That's very offensive. Yeah. I was happy when people got rich. I'm still happy when people get rich on a game show or from winning the lottery or from winning American Idol or from success or a comeback. Like, my God, <laughs> this is just the retardation <laughs> of your generation. You I'm use fa- the R word. Somebody, somebody just 
you know, he, this is from a live thing he did on Instagram. Yeah, yeah. And just for, you have to watch this guy on YouTube, by the way. If you're not watching this on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, you gotta see this. He's amazing. Somebody just wrote, you're fat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, do you get microbladed brows somebody wrote <laughs> uh, i'm fake flexing huh that's all you got to say i'm fake flexing i'm a fraud right if i was a fraud where's my gofundme <laughs> page like all of y'all have acting like you have cancer or trying to get money for your mom i'm oh. fake yeah i mean but look at those chains though lots of chains you don't how like many those? does he have no those are beautiful chains I mean, look at that outside one. I, the uh, outside. Sure. Yeah, the Cuban one there. It's very nice. Uh, you know what I like most is he's got a bedazzled hat on. Yeah. You see, it's like a cheetah pattern or whatever, and then he's got some sparkle on it. And there's too. stones with real gems in there. Yeah. Yeah, I saw a separate post where he talked about it. Oh, okay. He spares so, no expense. Oh, this guy, I mean, money just falls out of his pocket. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he just, dude, he goes like private chefs. Yeah. Uh, probably private planes definitely homes multiple homes <laughs> tons of cars jewelry bedazzled hats yeah yes. i like him yeah let's what else is he talking about uh let's see is there are is there any other from that's this? it for this uh that's it for this live stream that we ripped uh -huh. but we have another 20 minutes that we will have prepped for next week great okay. that i think only we might have access to yeah, uh, but we also have some screenshots and another video. I don't know if you want to save it for later and go through some of that. Oh, now. let's go, let's go. Yeah, no, I want to. I'm, in, I'm in. <laughs> Tom is enthralled. With yeah, this yeah. Guy. Uh, please show me. This is all we've been talking about in our home. What's this guy's name? Hard Rock Nick. Hard Rock Nick. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Every so, now and then, just a diamond comes along. Yeah, there's like, here's just to like give you more insight. Okay, oh. so. <laughs> Why don't you read read the caption? This is his caption from. I don't Instagram. know if I can get past the image. I know this is a lovely uh, selfie. It's a so. Do you see the you see the chain? I want. I though. see the chains, Tom. Okay. I see the multiple chains. Hey, by the way, by the way, since we're putting it out there, we're discussing, we're looking. Fortieth birthday is coming up. <laughs> yeah, chains. <laughs> He's got, he's the, got the outside one, the thick one. I see it, Tom. Hey, I will. You make, turn forty once. Gotcha. How many? How much money do you think that is? I mean, for him, I'm sure it's nothing. I, I'm assuming that's, I don't know. If we get another steakhouse sponsor, the answer is yes. Then I can get the chain? You can get the chain. Oh, that'd be awesome. Um, he's got the, he's got an eye, his eyebrows are very fleeked. He looks like a genie, doesn't he? Yeah, his eyebrows are amazing. <laughs> he looks like a... And his lips are kind of... Mm, he's doing first. duck lips mm. for the Instagram. Well, I, don't, I think that's natural. I don't think he's doing it. Oh, okay. He doesn't need fillers. Can you please read his caption? Okay. This is what he writes. Once you've dated me, it's mathematically impossible to do better than me in selecting another mate. After breakups, my exes have endured the likes of terminal brain cancer. And in parentheses, he writes, no bullshit. Suicide by lethal injection. Decades of psychotherapy. Prison time or in other milder examples have become gay or settled for men who in some way or another reminded said ex of me. You will never do better than me. Hashtag I said never. Wow. Yeah. 22 likes on this one. Hard uh, rock neck. Woof. Yeah. So women go crazy after they break up with him. It sounds like. You know what's like. also nice? Or he drives them to suicide with You know how uh, when you do comedy. Yeah especially when you start, you write a bio. Yeah, it's bullshit. But I mean, yeah. you have to kind of summarize your story. Yeah. This caption summarizes his. Why don't you go ahead and give it a read? Sure. So this is his bio. Um, born in Las Vegas, Nevada. Grew up in Manhattan Beach, California. Graduated from UC Berkeley on my 12th Mercedes Benz. Okay. That's just thrown in there. Stats. Here's his other stats. Houses in Irvine Cove, Del Mar, San Francisco, West Hollywood, Las Vegas, of course, he writes in parentheses, Dallas, Texas, and Tokyo, Japan. Over $30,000 worth of tattoos on my body, okay? Usually shop at Bristol Farms, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Gelson's, or Whole Foods Market. This is like Brody Stevens, like when he lists where he shops and stuff. Oh, this is the best. He averages one Amazon package a week. Okay. okay, that's down from two a week this time last year. Oh, worth a good $350 million, not counting the house I live in. Wow. Prefer eating pussy from the back. <laughs> okay. 
love, and I mean love getting my dick sucked, almost 300 pounds, but carry it like I'm 210 pounds, Alexa the shit out of my house, San Francisco 49er fan, could live on sushi, in parentheses, sometimes I do, excelled at tennis and soccer in my youth, and could have easily turned pro. Easily. (laughs) Have fucked everyone in the porn business that I wanted to, Hate cigarettes, fake tits, fake eyelash extensions, and anyone who is stingy with cheese on my food in general. Donated $500,000 to the Trump slash Pence campaign in 2016. Think that's good enough for now, don't you? Wow. I mean, listen, this guy averages one Amazon package a A week. week? That part blew me away. He shops on the regular at Bristol Farms, Gilson's, or Whole Foods. That means... You know, organic. Money. Healthy. Money. money. He's all fuck Trader Joe's, dude. I don't this fuck is with almost Trader's. 300 Joe. pounds. Carries but it he, like no, he's 210. But he looks 210. Yeah. I believe it. He looks great. He does. Here's his other caption Ladies, I promise that having a fine ass boyfriend like me will literally make you come the second I tap my dick on the. Ugh. I, I, I can't finish this. Thanks. I mean, I can't. I'll finish it for go you. Go ahead. That will literally make you come the second I tap my dick on the edges of your pussy lips before insertion. Hashtag every fucking time. Jesus Christ. It's a little intense. But that look is intense. Look at the. He looks like a gay genie. But look yeah. at look. Yeah. Mm. He'll fuck you. He's going to fuck you. That's a look that says, I'm going to fuck you. Yeah. Yeah. And I wish we could do your eyebrows microbladed God, look like at that this chain. guy. I know, babe. Wow. Okay. I really like this it. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, boy. I love when people take selfies of themselves in bed. It's so sexy and so romantic. I you like know, it. they're like, I'm just laying here. I sexy. posted my own like that this weekend. You did? It inspired me. Lips pursed. Oof. He, the beard. This is a uh, caption is any fine ass white girls with tons of ass and hips who can handle an 11 inch dick Oof. when I come over tonight? DM me. 11 inches? Oh, wow. God, I didn't know about this. This one's new to me. And he's worth $350 million? I mean, this is just building and building. why is this guy single? Well, that's the thing. It's got to be the haters, I'm thinking. It's got to be the haters. It's got to be the haters. This guy is great. This guy has everything. I got to set him up with my stepsister. What's this say, Gene? This says, told my private chef to make protein-style cheeseburgers and hold the fries for my lunch today because my new girlfriend is 18 and still in high school. Whoa. Hashtag rich guy. <sighs> He's so rich. Oh my God. That's really, looks really gourmet. It looks a little like in and out, but I'm sure it's not in and out. No, that's a uh, protein style. Imagine having a private chef. I know. He's so lucky. I wish it's I had a private awesome. chef. Awesome. Yeah. This guy's rad. Oh shit. How a man with $75 million cash in the bank eats breakfast on the daily. Wait, I thought he had 350 million. No, that was his net worth. Oh. Maybe you don't understand numbers. I don't. <laughs> But that's the value of what he's worth. This is cash value. Wow. Liquid. 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 This guy. So what does a $75 million in cash eat for breakfast? I see an omelet. Yeah. Looks like English muffin, side of fruit bowl. What's on the left plate there? What is that? Uh, it looks like some zucchini smashed oh. on. I don't know. This guy's really, he's a baller. Yeah, this is great. You guys got to do a deep oh, dive on this toast. guy. Yeah. Hard Rock Nick. On Take Instagram, Hard Rock Nick. Yeah. Do yourself a favor. Just the way it sounds. Okay, then we pulled some... Uh, aye, 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 I can't do it. This is some some I'm stuff out. from his Facebook because this dude is just... Ugh. He's just he's just, just blowing everybody away. <laughs> On Facebook, he is Nicholas, N-I-C-H-O-L-A-S, Rock Johansson, J-O-H-A-N-N-S-E-N. Uh, this has a, a photo of oh a, a lovely God. lady who is leaning over the sink, like looking in the mirror. She does her makeup. And she has quite a rear end. And Hard Rock Nick posted, ladies, if you have an ass like this and are a pure white American born female, in parentheses, not mixed with Mexican or Israeli and shit, <laughs> okay. have light eyes and a career and will okay. let me put my face in it every time you bend over the sink to do your makeup, get at me. That's quite an offer. Wow. You know, you kind of fit a lot. I of know. I'm thinking... I mean, if he's into, I don't, might be too Moms? old for him. Oh, you're yeah. definitely too old. Yeah. Who the fuck do you think you are? 
You think you're worthy of that shit? I'm definitely not worthy of Hard Rock Nick. This, though, oh, okay. I would like you to read. Okay, here we go, so guys. So here he posted. Well, if anybody listening is interested in dating this guy, he's got 10 turnoffs in a woman in order... Wait. 10 turnoffs in a woman in order of level of turn offedness. So, guys, uh, women, if you're listening and you're into Hard Rock Nick, here's the 10 things he does not like. Number one... <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Why don't we start with 10? Uh, <laughs> let's start with 10. <laughs> okay. Won't shop slash eat slash do yoga anywhere unless she has a coupon slash Groupon magazine clipping for it. LOL. So he, he doesn't has. want you to be cheap. He can't be cheap. Number nine has a child from a previous man. Oh, there it goes. I'm yeah, out you're out already. Eight has visible facial hair, even peach fuzz with three exclamation marks. So you okay. better get that shit lasered off. Lasered. He likes some hairless. Number seven, prudish sexually. Number six, never says thank you. I understand that one. I get it. He has a lot to offer. Yeah. Number five, wears perfume from Walmart or TJ Maxx, et cetera. Okay. Four, wears too much makeup. Okay. Big turn off. Three, vegetarian. Okay. Well, he's very health conscious. If you look at him and his diet. Yeah, yeah. He's He keeps it lean and he keeps it. Carries yeah. it like he's 210. Carries it like he's 210. Smoker of any kind is number two. And number one, non-Caucasian is his big turn off. That's the most turned off he can get. <laughs> a <Is>. non-Caucasian. <laughs> huh. So I know there's a lot of tears streaming down a lot of I'm faces right now. <laughs> people listening, people watching, being like, what? Well, no wonder he can't find love. This is quite a tight list. I mean, you know, we kind of, I, I don't want to be the type of person that would assume they can give Hard Rock Nick any advice, but we did watch a lot of Millionaire Matchmakers. Yeah. And I, she was always against the people with lists. She said, you I can't go into love that way. I agree. And it's he's talking so, about being single, but he's got these lists. But at least he knows what makes uh, his peener heart. Yeah. And it starts and with white. White. Yeah. <laughs> what power? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Wow. I don't know if he's white, though. I don't think he can. I don't think he like is. Like full. I don't think he can claim. Like he, he's wanting. You mean pure. Pu well, whatever. Yes. Yeah. Like I don't think he himself is pure Caucasian. If I'm right. a betting lady, I would go native. Do you think even maybe your tribe or Persian? Here's I a mean, back. Yeah, oh, I yeah. mean, I watched the live stream. Uh, he said very aggressively that he is neither Persian or Jewish. Bullshit. Well, well, he's from L.A., right? He's an L.A. native. I'm going to go Persian on. I don't know. Hell yeah. If he's dude. making a point to say or, that he's not. No, dude. Armenian. Um, he might be Armenian. Man, do you realize if he's not what you're doing right now? What am I doing? <laughs> you're really upsetting Hard Rock. I'm going to go Armenian, actually. I don't think so. Yeah. I don't think so. Okay. I just, I know this type, dude. This is this is definitely LA guy. Um. <laughs> Two selfies for the best followers in the world. Happy Friday. Hashtag that cock bulge, though. Oh, my God. <laughs> this guy is just. Well, it's 11 inches. He's got a lot of tats, too. Uh, okay. This is a photo of some things he picked up at the grocery yeah, store. I'm done. Uh, he wants everything to smell great. He got uh, he got mouthwash. He got Gain and Glade, and he said, "I truth is, I put those Glade cones in my walk-in closet. The mouthwash is for my guest bathrooms." Hashtag <laughs> thick bitches only. <laughs> okay. I mean, it really is a gift that never. Hasn't no, he's giving. really amazing. I really hope he picks up the posts because his followers are picking up. Oh my gosh. This is a uh, a bottle of balsamic vinegar. And he <laughs> said, I told my private chef that I want caprese salad for dinner tonight. He told me to pick up some expensive balsamic vinegar, which I just did. Exclamation mark. Personally, I would have the chef pick it up, but I, I get it. I would too, or Instacart. Like if you're that rich, Instacart that but Yeah, shit. but he probably... Wants to look at it, hold you know, know what he's getting. Sure. Yeah. All right. Hey. Yeah. Oh, shit. Uh, I nah. love fresh hard-boiled <sighs> eggs sprinkled okay. with salt and pepper for a high-protein snack before my chef makes dinner. All right. That's really cool, man. <laughs> um, there's a lot more. Mm. I kind of want to save some of Hard Rock Nick. Uh, yeah, he's special. No, uh, I actually want to watch one of these videos with one of our guests. So I'm going to save it for just a little bit later. Um in a moment, we're going to have uh, our friend come in here and talk to us. Oh, yeah. About uh, a couple of things because we need we need to sit down with him. You, you know, know you I mean? better check your weight privilege, Tom. I will check my weight privilege. Have you heard that that's the latest form of privilege? Yes. 
I yeah. saw it on Twitter. There's weight privilege now. I know because of fat people like Bert. But <laughs> anyways, we'll be back to talking about farts and dicks after this quick break. And we're back. We are back in studio with a dear friend, a great comedian, uh, somebody who greatly helps out this show, does a lot of producing for Producer, us. Producer, director. Director, <laughs> choreographer. It's Josh Potter, everybody. Hey, hey, hey. Um, uh, ladies love him. Yeah. So this weekend. Make them all wet Whoa, in the face. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> all those tears streaming down. Yeah. Um, we had a good time. That was fun this weekend. It was a fun weekend. Um, bus life, baby. Bus life, tour mm, bus champ. I yeah. heard about the gangbang bus. You guys are <laughs> oh man, dude, in. just that place, so that many thing. crying chicks. <laughs> there's, there's just believe me, there's DNA all over that thing. So, now. Josh, are you scoring chicks on the bang bus or what? Psh, all day, make that shit rock. <laughs> yeah, all damn day. For sure. Did Line you, them up. Bunk, the bunk, way, bunk. They got them stacked. That's right. You got, you got bunks for different hoes. Yeah. yeah okay. Um, did you expect, I did not expect, I have not, I've lived in LA a long time now. Long Beach was the shit. That was so dope. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't so even crazy. seem like LA. It's so like, it seems far away. Yeah. But right. it's not, it's right there. It was I know. unbelievable. A lot man. of sluts there. There was just a lot of everything. And the crowd was fucking bonkers, yeah. man. There's That's a reason good. Warren G's yeah. chilling in the LBC. Right. Snoop, right. Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg from right. the LBC, yeah. Yeah, bros. Yeah. Uh, but more importantly, Josh, we were talking about you this weekend. Yeah. And you're funny. You're lovable. We adore you. But, uh, but we don't know how you stay alive. <laughs> and Tom and I have come to the conclusion that you might be a human cockroach. I t- <laughs> <laughs> well, let's go through that. Let's the, go through our let's list go of shit. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because uh, you spent a lot of time with me this weekend. Yeah. And I've spent I mean, a lot of time yeah, with over you the years. over the years. Yeah, but, of course. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's go. Human doesn't cockroach. Human cockroach. Yes. Doesn't really eat. Never. Right? And you're like, we have and to you're force like, you to eat. Yeah. Okay. And like, I've taken you out to these nice restaurants. Yeah. And you'll sometimes be like, <laughs> I'll have the, like, something. And I'll be like, and he's going to have an appetizer <laughs> and he's going to like, yeah. I'll make you order things. Oh, right. well, I will order lunch here. And last week, everyone is ordering full meals. And he's yeah. like, I'll have a cup of soup. Yeah. <laughs> You're not going to like what I ordered today. Yeah. What, what did you get today? I got the soup of the day. That's yeah. it. Yeah. That's and it. that's it. Yeah. You know, you got I don't want to yeah. bog myself down with some with food. food. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and what did you eat? What have you eaten so far today? Today, nothing. Okay. That'll be it's, my first. It's thing. noon. Yeah, it's early. Cockroach. Cockroach, mm-hmm. okay. And Cockroach what? eating. Okay, the food, okay. yeah. Yeah. Incapable of regulating his body temperature. <laughs> <laughs> he has like a near <laughs> right. psychotic person's body. T- I think the only yes. guy I've ever met who is this far off. I mean, most guys are like, you know, I prefer guys will be like, I like it a little cooler. Because you, know? you don't really get bothered by the cold, but you will wear a jacket if it's cold outside. If oh, it's yeah. snowing. This guy. Yeah. Let oh me tell you something. Yeah. Psycho. I've never met anybody like him. It'll be like 37 That's outside. That's true at all. And yeah. he'll be like, he's like, oh, it's kind of hot. I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. He's like, well, he's when like you go you're in, not hot. And I'm like, no, no one's hot here. We nobody. go into the he airport. stripping off his layers. Yeah. Walking on in a t-shirt on the jet He's a crazy bridge. person. Total crazy, crazy person. Crazy person. Dude. Backstage, those airports are fucked. We were at a gig where they were, it was like downstairs cavernous yeah. old theater. And the guy, the guy was wearing a parka <laughs> that you would go like to ha- hike Mount sure. Everest. And he was like, sorry, they didn't turn the uh, the heat on. And, and Josh was like, it feels great. And I was like, <laughs> it doesn't feel great. I had a t-shirt on. How yeah. are you, but how are you burning off any energy? Cause you're not eating so yeah. that you're not, you just have a high metabolism. It, it feels. I guess I, I, I don't think and I was from Buffalo. Don't yeah, forget. Yeah, that's he's from true. Buffalo. I'm from the Buffalo. cold. I was born in the cold. Okay. And wait, tell her. I didn't even tell her this. Well, go ahead. Tell her the shower thing. The shower thing. You told me. Oh, I take do cold you showers. Show- what? But, so, wait, but, but <laughs> not what do you do? But, but you're like, and you. you, you I go. end every shower by cranking the heat off and just letting the cold water. That's my nightmare. That and is wait, my and, and n- how long nightmare. Do you do it for? How I long will do you kill do it for? myself. As long as I can tolerate no. it. That, why? Why are you punishing yourself? Well, it's not a punishment. It's like it an sure invigoration is. thing. It feels it's like good. It's time to close the shower down, so let's 
crank up the cold water and just be like, oh, oh my god yeah. that is my nightmare that is my fucking nightmare <laughs> to shower with josh potter we've me. determined that like if we did the road together i would oh. murder you from being <laughs> hot all the time oh my god you wouldn't be able to tolerate our bedroom no oh my way. god i couldn't imagine i sleep that. on top of sheets <laughs> Right. Fuck. I mean, but you, yours, yeah. your the bed would just be a pool of okay, blood. Okay. Okay. But let's let's get back to Josh. <laughs> let's get back to Josh Potter. Okay. Uh, the smoking of cigarettes. Yeah. Smokes all the time. How many how many cigarettes are we on now this week? I mean, this per, week? Day, oh, per day, per day, per day. Today your... I smoke two only. I mean, I don't smoke that much. All that I, if I could smoke weed perpetually, okay. I would just do that. Okay. They're just a supplement, you know. Yeah. Supplement for weed. Yeah. Pretty yeah. much. The smoking, I'm smoking the Red Bull. I always yeah. see you sucking down, down the Red Bull. That's How just many a of work those? thing. Keeps me yeah. focused. Yeah. Keeps you focused. So that's sugar and caffeine. And then sugar free. A big oh, sugar thing. free. And then, yeah. and then sleep. I don't know what right. you're doing for that. I don't Was, either. Okay. I don't, that's, I mean, I, I'm bad at it. Yeah. I what, don't get a lot of it. Right. So you're a cockroach. So I when do so, you, yeah. that's when do sense. you sleep? Let's walk me through the night. It depends on the night. Uh, during the, the road yeah. i uh i got a couple hours on the bus you okay. know but the bus is not people say it's like the best sleep you ever have because it's rocking and i guess i don't yeah. know but it's still a moving car yeah but what about well, you forgot about the last one he well can't come. he can't come oh well yeah. yeah he's a cockroach maybe that all all those ingredients together <laughs> maybe <laughs> 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 yeah, maybe all these things combined you're right it's con it maybe yeah. contributing to your sexual problems we thought with the t body temperature thing that the heat is just keeping my cum in my body could be so could maybe be. that's it i am a hairy guy probably more hairy than tom and you think the hair keeps you warm yes okay and my blood is thick okay and i just like being cold you like being cold. Yes. More than being hot by a mile. Really? That's my, na that's my nightmare. Oh, you and my I are God. complete opposite. You like being that. cold. Yes. You, it feels good to be cold? As opposed to being hot, of course. Now, hot you, is sweating. I and like then, hot. Ugh. I feel better. Makes so you, sick. But you spoke with Dr. Drew. You've never hurt somebody? <laughs> <laughs> when I get hot, I really get like, I want to jump out of my fucking skin. Like, yeah. It, it really, really bothers you. Yeah. That's how I feel cold. I get angry. I'm yes. upset that I have the in, I'm suffering the indignity of being cold when there's other options for me. I don't need to feel this way right now. I this don't is, know why when you're hot, you don't feel alive. I don't know. You feel like I, I hate I, I hate that. feeling hot, too. I, yeah, to I, be like honest, I hate feeling hot. Um, but no, wait, but let so me, you talked to Dr. Drew. Yes. About your ejaculation thing. So for mm -hmm. those of us that aren't familiar, walk us through your problem. Uh, well, I can function sexually except for the punctuation point which is finishing without the aid of myself so you're saying you have to hand manipulate yes and for get... those who are saying that i might be gay i wish it was that fucking easy <laughs> yeah. i wish right. that was the answer that it was just a guy that yeah if, I, if it was just that i was gay i would just be like yeah i'm gay and i would just fuck dudes and i would probably come all the time and maybe nice. you should try it no i mean <laughs> if I could get a a boner from a dude, yeah, I would yeah. definitely go down. But you're that with route. these girls, just so people know. You you're you know I, you like women. You're 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 getting with women, and then the, you just can't finish. Right. You need to finish, but maybe manually. We, we need so you go you go watch this, and then you put on a show for them. Yes, um, it depends how they want to get involved. You know, yeah. sometimes they're like here here. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wait a minute, but maybe yeah. that's his. Is this a kink? No, I would prefer to just jizz inside or right and yeah. what did dr drew feels say about better. it uh he has you know it's gonna take a little bit of communicating more and things like that uh i think we determined that uh a nice prescription for a smoke show is in order just yes. to test it out we what's that mean a fucking hottie yeah so oh, we need oh, are you even banging pigs is that the problem? sometimes you know God. here but what, and there but let's let's Hogging. put the call out i'm Come open on. there's Check a lot your of weight privilege there's Josh. there's a lot of <laughs> there's a lot of listeners out there and viewers yeah let's put the call out help josh come yeah he he needs your help and if you're he needs willing, a come sponsor yeah it's like a telethon yeah <laughs> it's like look at this nice guy all right doesn't sleep much takes doesn't, cold showers doesn't yeah. eat much <laughs> mm -mm. doesn't he's not sleep gonna, much yeah, he's gonna he's gonna take it and you'll take them out you'll show them Hell nice, yeah. yeah so let's get a little like just a a really if you're willing and able reach out this is a boy that just needs your help. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Help him out. Let him try. I just need a you know? smoke show savage. 
Now, yeah. would you you'd be willing to date somebody in the entertainment, the un- adult entertainment industry? You've, yes, you've said that to us yes. behind closer. Hey, I, will, I actually would prefer to date a girl who's done porn. I mean, prefer. I mean, sure. I guess I can go that way. Prefer. For I've just, never I've never done it, so I don't know. For but you're I, curious. Let's I am say curious. That. I think I could handle it. For just a, froze, for just four strokes a day, you can help. Josh <laughs> <girl>. <laughs> yeah, it's something that you know we want this to happen. Yes, for sure. I want it to happen for my whole life. So, I mean, okay. I'm, if this doesn't work, then, you know, we might have to consider other medical options. Probably. Really? Maybe. I what mean, do you if mean? this doesn't work, like I don't pills know. Or... We'll have to take it to the next level. We'll have to ask Dr. Drew what that is. Okay. You know, I, hope, you... I really do hope a really hot woman reaches out and she's like, I'll go out with him and then we can test this theory. Yeah. It really That'd just takes great. someone who's a gamer and yeah. just wants to. Come on, he's a comic. Fight through it. Oh, before we forget, let's talk about um, just what's your what's your uh, show coming up? What oh, is- March twenty second, Improv Lab here in Hollywood. Uh, tickets in my bio on my Instagram and on my Twitter. If you want to scoop them up, and the uh, link there. what's the uh, what's your what's the handle for your? Social? Oh, at J underscore Potter is my Twitter, and Josh underscore Potter is my Instagram. Some asshole fucking took the other one. There you go. Okay. And listen, he's hilarious. There's a reason I've taken him. Uh, on the road everywhere. We learned another reason. I think. Well, now that I'm an employee, <laughs> yeah. What What do you think my value is? Like, let's say if I died on the road. Okay. Yeah. What do you mean? What do you think? Like, you could get for me, like life insurance. I don't know if it would oh, be life, life insurance, insurance or like policy a, on you. A lo- expense, you know. Like well, a, we discussed a thing. Go ahead. Remember that Tracy Morgan was in this horrific, yeah, bus accident. I remember. And uh, he lost. He lost his friend and he was injured and walmart settled for just extraordinary a huge amount because of yeah. his potential earnings so i was right? fantasizing about that yeah, yeah like uh, we were going through a snowy pass yeah. to get to reno and i said hey man we might get some of that tracy morgan <laughs> yeah and and you guys were thinking like how much is josh potter worth well, yeah, well i'd be the one that dies <laughs> yeah he of course has to die but what i oh, would oh. uh what i was thinking was like is that it would be kind of like funny if we were in this bus accident and that he's just a little hurt. Like he's like, oh, <laughs> my arm. I think I might have broken my arm. And then, then I'm like, well, I, I got to get this money. So then I, I take a crowbar and I just start beating him. <laughs> and he's like, it's just my arm. No, I'm like and laying I, there under a piece of, sh- you know, part of the bus falls on uh-huh. me. And I'm like, Tom, please <laughs> just lift this and I can f- be free. And Tom's like, shh, shh, shh. It's too far. You're too hurt. And then and he's like, like oh, it's just. just my arm is broken. And then he's like, shut up. And he just <laughs> smashes my skull. Starts beating him. Yeah. And then and he's on the <laughs> phone with you or something. He's like, I'm fine, Christina. Josh is <laughs> too hurt. He's mortally injured. I have to finish him off. <laughs> God. I'll be like, Christina, it's my arm. Please help me. And then the cops show up <laughs> and they're like, what happened? And I'm like, well, he went flying. <laughs> they're like, well, it looks like he has like blunt force trauma to the head. I'm like, yeah, man, all this shit was falling the, off the, the bus. Crow bar went flying and it bounced off his head six times <laughs> and you know it was weird it was a lot it's all a blur you got to run this past your therapist and then the they're like tom you got mental problems then they're like that. yeah tom deserves a big check he had to yeah. really go through this his horrible died. experience uh give him a hundred million dollars i'll be like oh, i miss josh <laughs> as he got his chains. jesus christ <laughs> Oh, wow, man. You guys really got a good giggle out of that. You'd get some money from it, too. Yeah. I don't want your dead blood money. <laughs> and they're like, why is his, but his skull's bashed in. It's like, really consistent with uh, some foul play <laughs> here. Uh, yeah, man. You know how the snow is. I check with the driver. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you might know more. Wow, you guys really had a good time on this trip, huh? Yeah, was Just talking moment. about ways to kill Josh. <laughs> Whew, poor Potter. Yeah. Oh, God. I hope he don't right. die next to um, his that was a lot of fun man and uh please eat something yeah thanks for having me i'm gonna have some soup i'm pretty pumped about it jesus Christ! yeah let's go get let's go get our lunch yeah we'll be back your mom's house will be right back and we're back (laughs) and this is a real treat people did not know we didn't tease this didn't let people know secrets we are joined by detroit's own Danny Brown. Yay. Whoa. Hey, man. Thank you for being here. Thank you guys for having me. Dude, this was like a such a trip when I first, you and I uh, DM'd a while ago. Mm-hmm. I think it was that somebody tipped me off that I think you had mentioned uh, our podcast maybe in an interview mm-hmm. or something. 
when it's like you're a big podcast fan yeah, i mean i guess in like the last few years i guess when you make so much music the last thing you want to do is listen to music yeah, yeah. in some sense of like that hanging makes sense. around so when podcasts like a big deal for it to you know like it's something i could just put on yeah especially with long flights i think that was the big deal for sure like um here's the deal man <laughs> 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 when you're on long flights from australia you know what i'm saying for sure you could definitely knock out a few episodes and you know but you know you you know you, you're home so that's podcast awesome. is definitely a big deal for me on long flights yeah it, it's a game changer right especially you get, like yeah. either getting like a really cool conversation I, except one time i was listening to one like some war shit i don't know how i even got up on that shit but I was listening to a war podcast and they were talking about the nuclear wars and all that type of shit. And that's the type of shit you don't want to listen to. On no. <laughs> Especially yeah, like, I don't want that. If you eat an edible before a flight oh, and you see, start listening to something like that, you're like, oh man, my anxiety is going through the roof. I really roof. love edibles, but I learned that I can't take them on flights. The last time it's I good. took an edible, I almost pushed the button. Really? What? Yeah, I don't know why. I just kept looking at the button like, <laughs> I think I want to push this shit. <laughs> I don't even know what's going to happen, but... My heart's beating fast. I'm sweating. Like, yeah. I think I need to push the button. I think I need to push the button. The last flight I took it on was was a flight to Australia. Oh, yeah. And, that, and that's a fucking uh, long flight. Yeah, hell yeah. So yeah. you have the anxiety, and then you're like, you're like I'm going to come down. This will be all right. And then they're like, uh, there's 11 more hours. You're like, oh, shit. Like, it just, it, it just fucks with yeah, you. I don't even, why would you do that to yourself? I, I can't even take drugs in public. I, I feel like it's too fucked up for me. Like, I have to just be alone. I know you're not supposed to do drugs alone, but that's probably no. I best think that's time the best way to go because I embarrass <laughs> myself in front of people. Yeah, yeah. Behind shit, but I, I like I, doing like long flights like that. I try to break them up. Like if I go to Australia, I try to come here for a few days, then go to Hawaii for a few days, then go to Australia. But oh, that's I mean, the way to do it. Yeah, man. just break it up. Yeah, but the um. I mean Xanax. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's yeah. different. <laughs> <laughs> like a couple of Xanax, just, yeah. you just wake up, you there, you on their time, you on their time, changing and everything. You're like, shit. That's a good plan. There's a deal, man. <laughs> it's a deal. Yeah. People, if you don't know this, that you're a big mommy. Yes, yes. Oh, I'm yeah. so excited. Keeping them high and tight. I keep them high and tight. <laughs> that's you right. You came in talking about butt plug cuss. Yeah, butt plug cuss. <laughs> The new guy into the cool guy club. <laughs> I, think, I guess that's his name now. He's God butt plug cuz. Yeah, butt <laughs> Uncle Terry is butt plug cuz. <laughs> <laughs> that is the cool best. Cool guy club. <laughs> oh, he's yeah. so nasty. He is nasty. <laughs> so nasty. So nasty. What do you like best about butt plug cuz? I don't like anything about him. <laughs> <laughs> I guess if it was if I have to pick anything, I guess you know in this day and age, you know it's hard to be yourself. Yeah, he's a motherfucker that's just embracing that who is he true. is. You know what I'm saying? So I yeah. guess I really gotta like that about him. That's, that's really true. out there. Now, have yes. you seen him? Do you watch our show? Do or have you... I seen him like in real life? <laughs> <laughs> no. no, like do you watch the show on YouTube? No, seen, yeah, or... yeah, yeah. Okay, so you've seen his clips. Yeah, I've seen you've the seen clip. it. Yeah. Okay. yeah. I actually okay. seen last time you guys had like a, a, a retro one. Like this motherfucker been doing this shit for 20 years. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like what this. the fuck is going on? And that's what let you know that a person is real comfortable in their life. Like, yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like yeah. I wonder what's his like real job. Yeah. Like, I start to that's wonder it. about like what is personal life about that you would do this on YouTube yes. or whatever. That you could just do this like no one, no one ever finds out. Do you tell people out there like what do you do? I, I, Dude, I, I wonder that toys. all that's the such time a good with question. these clips when you go... Did somebody like at at, your, at the <laughs> bank today be like, yeah. hey, Terry? Yeah. <laughs> yes, that's what I'm saying. Like, I, but I guess if you run across this shit, then you got some problems too. You get what I'm saying? But because yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. at least like Throatzilla, yeah, wouldn't like didn't she kind of have? By the way, we didn't even I didn't even tell you this. You got head from Throatzilla. On I your wish trip? I got head from Throatzilla. Throatzilla came to my Dallas show and I just saw it on Twitter. She was like, I'm finally here. And she took a picture and posted it. And I was like, hi, Throatzilla. But she didn't, you know, I didn't get to <laughs> oh. see her. She was at the show. What a bummer. Yeah. Throatzilla. But man. she worked yeah. at a bank. I used to follow her on Snapchat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a good follow, it right? A, it was a festive morning. Every yeah. morning. <laughs> <laughs> the content. She really has great content. She yeah. does, man. Yeah. She does. I, I always loved... The uh, the juxtaposition of her her skills 
And then she was like, was, I'm going to get gas. Yeah. 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 And she's she like playing at buffets. Yeah. 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 That's one thing I do. Know. She takes the whole family to the buffet. <laughs> and then she's just, I don't, uh, okay. It's enough. Yeah. No, throw Dilla as, again, somebody very comfortable with herself. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. That and I saw a recent one, you guys, and it, it, it it left me in tears. The, the one, this motherfucker done brought a dead raccoon in a McDonald's. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. yeah. That shit had me crying, man. Yeah. yeah, that shit was crazy. Well, we don't like to talk about McDaniels. but I know, but that God motherfucker damn. had a dead raccoon. He sure did. What the a guy psycho. Who were, and, and it was San Francisco, which was the, the most like intriguing part of it. That's the craziest part. Because I would have thought that would have been like yeah. in fucking Look Alabama. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. 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 I want this guy to do like an intro for my next album. <laughs> this nigga didn't brought a dead yeah. raccoon in the motherfucking McDonald's. Look at this shit. <laughs> Look at this shit. <laughs> that motherfucker dead in the motherfucker. <laughs> this nigga got rabies like a motherfucker. <laughs> uh, yeah. I love that that's like my uncle you know yeah yeah, yeah yeah i definitely have an uncle with that with that with that slang dialect right there yeah for sure uh, and then there's also some psycho who's bringing in fucking yeah. dead raccoons i mean yeah but, but um we eat coon every thanksgiving really what that's like a midwest yeah no that motherfucker be on the table like <laughs> are you being serious? For real? Spread eagle. <laughs> Wait, are you for real? Yeah. How do you prepare it? I don't know. My aunt does it, but we, it's coon. They just yeah. call it coon. You want some of the coon? And they take the skin off, or you? you I don't. That God, motherfucker. The, the teeth you? still be in his mouth. Before. <laughs> They're vicious. <laughs> he just be looking at you smiling like. That's <laughs> <laughs> what they did to an egg. I'm sorry. <laughs> you like what? <laughs> Get some of the coon. Like fuck it. Fuck, Is it man. good? You like it? I mean, I guess it's it's, it's a hood delicacy. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I imagine it's kind of greasy, isn't it? I know they There's definitely. No, it's pretty dried out. Dry, like, yeah. yeah, like tough, like yeah. You know, you fry chicken too hard, almost. Kind yeah, of thing. Oh, you know okay. There's some. Uh, they I'd do. Try they it. do raccoon hunting in Florida. <laughs> in Florida, well, yeah. Florida they eat everything. You guys eat fucking crocodiles yeah. to, and rats. Because guys and used to go to the groves and they'd be like, "We're coon hunting," and just yeah. go. Sh- they shine a light because they kind of freeze up. <laughs> it's Ow. not bad. Though. They're cute though. It's not bad. It's not but, bad. But just the fact the way the motherfucker be on the table though, it's like, Ugh. damn, that's really a, a, a wild just a business position where you got yeah. the turkey looking all nice and yeah. cuddled up. And, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. This motherfucker just like that. It's wild, man. <clears throat> By the way, you uh, uh, you definitely yeah, live my best. dream in that you fucking made it as a rapper. I think I that's mean, the coolest thing ever. It took a long time. <laughs> no, but you did it. When did, did you like, start? Never I never learned how to rap. Yeah, you always say that. That was yeah, it was the weirdest shit. What I mean, I tell everybody the story probably a thousand times, but the first time I ever rapped was um in kindergarten. I said kindergarten. I was in kindergarten. Yeah. And um we was show and tell, but I didn't know and I didn't have nothing to show or tell. <laughs> so I just was like, fuck it, and I just said a little rap in front of the class and then once I finished the class, like clapped and stood up and then the teacher was all like, you know, she she really encouraged it a lot. Really? Like anytime we would have like some type of school play or something, she'd be like, rap rap always putting me in shit to make me rap so i guess that they started with that then i remember after that getting the confidence from the school i rapped for my cousin who's like an older cousin you know mm-hmm. he listened to a lot of rap music and shit so i rapped for him and then a the look on his face after i was finished he was like you didn't write that like he just had a weird oh really whole uh, thing i'm like oh this, i got something here so I yeah just, <laughs> what was your first rhyme like what what, what was your kindergarten rhyme? I mean, do you remember think, yeah but it was always you know oh you gotta think that's like the 80s so it was that whole my name is d in yeah. the place to be yeah, yeah i rock the mic so fresh as lee you know that listen close to what i say this type of shit happened every day like like yeah. that you know it wasn't like no real lyrical yeah. miracle shit you know that's how i would write now Dude, <laughs> i bought a book this is sad. i bought a book when i was in like fifth grade maybe fourth grade and it was like, uh, explain hip hop oh, oh, slang. No. One of those. Yeah, and it was like it had like Run DMC on it, and mm-hmm. it was like deaf means this. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, it was like all the slang. Nerds. Explain- oh yeah, and I was like, oh, and I would like sit with it and be like, you don't even know what that means. Like, was, oh wow. <laughs> and that's yeah. so weird because every place like in America, like everybody has like slang, but it could be like words that mean different shit, but it's the same word in different places. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. So that's pretty weird. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> what's the what's the latest Detroit slang? I, I mean, to be honest with you, I live in Detroit my whole life, but 
I've been in the suburbs probably like the last 10 years. Of, so yeah. I don't know what the fuck is going on in Detroit. <laughs> Every time I pop up, it's like a new big ass Under Armour store somewhere. Like, Under gentrification Armour. is going down. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> why the fuck we need this big ass Under Armour store? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Detroit's kind of blowing up, though. I recently. know. It's changed. Yeah, like I said, yeah. I go down there, I go downtown, I go down to the city, and it's like, what the fuck is going on? Because I have a studio still in the city. So yeah. I have to go. Do some work. Yeah, I'm going now. in June. I hope you're there. With yeah, me. yeah, I'll be there. I should be. All right. But I definitely sense. will be starting to work. But I should be home. Um, yeah, last time I was there, so I was there like a year ago, there were like all these different, uh, pro- like, you know, building a new yeah. stadium. It's a lot like, of nice ass hotels now. Yeah. Which uh, is weird. Like, I'm talking it's about weird. a place that used to be like cranked in heavens. Yeah. Or now fucking <laughs> hotels now. It's weird, right? Like with fucking free breakfast and shit and hipsters with fucking Carhartt hats on and shit. Oh, that's so the it worst. <laughs> fucking hipsters. The biggest trip is so we Detroit had to leave so Airport. Like, because, oh, yeah. be, well, only because, like, especially, let's say, ten, like within the last 10 years, people were always talking about, like, the economic downturn mm-hmm. of Detroit, right? Things like falling apart and houses abandoned and all this stuff. You're like, Detroit's in rough shape. And then it would be, it's a big uh, Delta connection yeah, point. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So you'd land there and you'd be like, I don't know, you'd, you'd expect like for some reason in your head, like, oh, it's going to be like Fallujah in here or something. Like the Cleveland Airport. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then you go in and there's like that psychedelic. Oh, yeah, I love the, the tunnel, psychedelic the tunnel. tunnel. Yeah. And then there's like a, a lady on, on the speakers going like, what's going on? in the D. Yeah. <laughs> you're, like, you're like, oh shit, this is kind of cool. Yeah. It would be like the coolest airport experience. Yeah. And like, yeah. as a comic, that's all you do. You yeah, know? yeah. You're just always at airports. So. I remember I've been, uh, two nights I spent uh, in Detroit airport. Or just, I've yeah. been stranded there oh, a couple yeah. times because of weather. Yeah. And then they shuttle you out to that fucking sad ass hotel like a mile. Yeah, and you're yeah. like, this is fucking terrible. Yeah, yeah. But you're right. The airport was the a big party. Amazing. And I had some good food there. Yeah. Yeah. There's like a total resurgence now. I know. I have to right. go see it. I haven't no, been there in so it's long. It's definitely changing. Yeah. Like I say, I don't, as much as, you know, I, uh, have I lived there my whole life, but the past 10 years, I can say I don't really know what the fuck's going on. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I stay in the suburbs. I stay in my house. I don't really go to the city that much, but when I do, I always see some shit like, what the fuck? Yeah. Why they got avocado toast now? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, now, that's you just kinda, the worst. Do you kind of resent it, though, in a way? Like when something like that's coming through nah, or not? No, we've been fucked up for so long. I'm yeah. just happy to see, like, basically for the future of the kids and shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. It'll be, you know, like Detroit was always a big city, but we would never treat it like one in that sense. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's not like a tourist location. Motherfucker, I'm like, I'm about to go to Detroit. Right. Like, for what? Motherfucker? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, so now it's like, you could probably go out there and do some cool shit. That's cool. Yeah. So you, it's, it's like you're happy for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. That's cool. Um, so, yeah, we were talking right before you came on that, like, your videos are so dope. Uh, thank you. I, like uh, I say, I can't really take too much credit for it. I don't know, man. <laughs> but you're, you're definitely green lighting uh, yeah, the yeah, vision. Yeah, and, yeah, and yeah. like, so are you a big, is part of it come from the fact, like, that you're a, a movie cinema fan or something? Or Hell no. No. I don't, I don't even have the attention span to watch movies and shit. Really? I swear. Really? I, watch, I play a lot of video games. What is like the video process like for like when you have a song and you're like, all right, we need to make a video. Do people start pitching you? Like, no, I never work? really um, like I make music and music and I never really think of what to make a video for or anything like that. So usually my manager or somebody be like this one, this one, this one. This really? One. And then when I then I, I decide what song we'll do and then we'll just get a whole bunch of treatments in, you know, really. And then, and then you just go over the treatments and figure out which one is cool. And Dude. usually work like that. How the fuck do you become a rapper? <laughs> like, people are like, how do you become a comedian? And we go, yeah, okay, yeah. you just go to the comedy it's club. It's about keep... the same shit. Is that what you just do it? Yeah. I, I, feel mean, like it's, I feel like it's I more special. even crazier. The beginning of my rap career, I would say, I mean, what it, what it was like, because I, I came in that era of, you know, where hip hop was like this thing of you had to have an image, you had yeah. to have a look. Like, I've, I've been in so many like label meetings early and they was like, the music is dope, but you don't have to look. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, like I was some dumb, dirty motherfucker from Detroit with <laughs> braids and a missing tooth. And they was like, this is the day when like 50 Cent and everybody had muscles. And yeah. You Wait, is like, that 50 Cent story true? Yeah. I we, lived with Tony Ayo for like a year. You live with Tony Ayo? Yeah. yeah. So many stories with that. <laughs> Wait, in Detroit or <laughs> no, in New York? In, in New York, in Long Island. Hold on. So for people that don't know, I know that, uh, I, I guess, did that come from, like G-Unit was, we're signing you. 
Is that be- from living See, with Tony? You know, it's a long story. So okay. let me, like I say, in the beginning, what I would do, I would, I would just literally, I had a connection at Rockefeller Records, okay. the A&R there that liked my music. So I would take these 12 hour Greyhound trips to New York, way before cell phones, all that shit, calling on pay phones and this and that. Whoa. Couch surfing <laughs> out there with who I could stay with and go out, you know, and I would record these mixtapes. You are a comedian. Yeah. yeah. I Same would make mixtapes in the weekend and go back home. Yeah. And then I would make, I had so many mixtapes from doing that, but then I ended up going to jail. I mean, I was locked up for that year. I was mm-hmm. locked up for like a year. When I was locked up, my brother would put my music on the internet. Whoa. And what happened was, by the time I got out of jail, I already had like a name on blogs and shit. Like hip hop blogs would like post my music and shit. So when I got out of jail, I was like, oh, that's what I'm gonna do. Now wait, isn't that a trip in and of itself that you get out of jail and you're like, oh shit, people like are- Yeah, but it still wasn't like a thing. Like it, it wasn't gonna get me a record deal type shit. Okay. So like I say, I had to take it back to some stand up comedian type shit and I would go to open <laughs> mics. Uh huh. Like mm-hmm. sign your name on a list and you know Fuck. type shit. You know what I'm saying? So and then I started to make because I knew it didn't matter for me to have my music all over these blogs and no one in my city knew who the fuck I was. Right. So I had to go around and go to these open mics and get my name known in the city. Because at the end of the day, like in a record company, reach back out like who's cracking in the city or what's you know. Mm-hmm. Even though I got my music around on these blogs and shit, if nobody knew who the fuck I am. It's not gonna add up. Yeah. Like, you know. Yeah. So I got my name out and then mm-hmm. I end up you know meeting the manager. And from meeting that manager, you know, stuff just started rolling, snowballing from there kind of shit. Dude, okay, so <laughs> where where does... Uh... Now the Tony Ayo yeah. situation fit in that is that I used to go record in the studio in New York, in Queens, which was... Um, but this is all on your own, like trying to... Put yeah, like I say, in... the A&R that I met oh, right, at right. Rockefeller, okay. he would take me to the studio okay, so where, where, I, where I make my mixtapes. Okay. And I was in Queens, and when that studio, when I was, I guess I was in jail or whatever, past, past, when that studio shut down, the engineer from there started working for Tony Ayo. Okay. And then one day they came to Detroit. Okay. And the engineer just was calling me like, for weed, like you in the D, whatever. Like, yeah. We need to get some weed on we yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. I, we didn't even, we probably ain't talked to each other in years type shit. And then I just showed up to their hotel room, you know, brought them weed or whatever. And <laughs> then he was like, oh, you got some, and, you know, he knew me from making music. So he's like, you got some new shit? You know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. like, oh shit, yeah, I do. I just put a video out and I showed yeah, yeah, my video and he just, he, he didn't let me leave after that shit. Really? Like, you leave with me right now. Go. He wouldn't even let me go pack clothes. Like, let me go grab some clothes. Like, no, you with me? And he threw me out the next day, and I was with him for like a year. No shit. Mm-hmm. Okay, so then what happens, because I've heard this, and I, I purposely didn't want to uh, look up details. Mm-hmm. What I heard was <laughs> that, like, you're going to sign with G-Unit, and then 50 Cent, it's back to what you were saying, was like, oh, but your, your look's not right. Yeah, um, yeah. back in those days, I wear, like, super tight-ass skinny jeans. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I got allergies to yeah. But we'll call them tiny pants. Shout out to Base God. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I would wear these skinny jeans. <laughs> and I couldn't even pull up. So they'll just be like way down here. My whole ass yeah. is hanging out. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You wear yeah. colorful drawers and shit. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> I remember if we did a show in Connecticut somewhere like that. But they had a show. And then I just wore these like super tight white ass skinny jeans with like, <laughs> and he had all these gangsters around yeah. and shit. but before that he been told me like you yeah. know you need to look more threatening you know 50 like, cents yeah oh like, my god he gave me these jeans that had like dollar signs on the back pockets and shit they were huge <laughs> yeah and, hey i just looked terrible i remember <laughs> i remember when i was wearing my skinny jeans and shit i was getting girls and stuff right you know like i'll go to the shows now can yeah. meet girls and shit but then he gave me these big ass jeans <laughs> and I remember wearing them with like Vans or like Chucks and shit. I just looked like a gangbanger. I just yeah. looked like I was up to no good. I would get no girls then. So like, fuck that. I'm going back to what I know. <laughs> yeah. what I said. And like, does, but does the look thing, is that like a, like does 50 actually be like, look, man, you ain't got the look. He loved the music. Uh-huh. He loved a lot of my music. But then, like I say, he told me to chill out. Just, you know, you're going to yeah. get your turn. Just, you know. Okay. But then eventually I was like, fuck that shit. I'm doing what I want to do. Yeah, yeah, At the yeah. end of the day, I was yeah. still, I'm, I'm 37 years old yeah. now. I could, I had to be like late 20s at that time. Right. I was already, I was already battered and bruised at that time. Right, you right. know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So I was already touched. <laughs> he couldn't even, you know what I'm saying? I was not impressed by none of the shit going right, on, right. you know? Yeah. So. He's so hilarious on Instagram. His Instagram is And that's ridiculous. actually who he is, too, yeah. as a person. He's I gotta not, follow him. I'm not following him. Oh, it's him. the best. He's, that's actually how he is, though. So I remember we had a show, and then I had these tight white pants, and then he just, I don't know, he just freaked out and was like, you got this motherfucker around me. Motherfuckers gonna think we gay. This and that. I'm like, what the fuck do I do? <laughs> like, do I, I, damn, I, I thought I was about to get beat up for a minute. Really? <laughs> like, yeah. It yeah. got like that, where I was like, fuck. 
So then after that was over, I knew in my head it was over. Like, I got to go home. Yeah, type yeah, shit, yeah. You know? So I think I lied to Yale and told him I had a show or something. I'm like, I yeah. got a show in California. I need yeah. to go. Which I did, like, at a Fat Beats for, like, $20 or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> but it all worked out, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It all worked out. Yeah. No, the videos, I we were just, We liked them yeah. so much. We were watching so, so many cool. videos. Like, But, yeah, I guess the video thing... Um, Cause I remember, I remember when um, "Ain't It Funny" came out, and like, jo didn't Jonah Hill direct yeah, that? Yeah. It's such a like. It's it's always shit like that that's pretty lucky for me, and I take you know I'm really blessed for stuff like like he just really liked the song and reached out to do a video for the it. Song's amazing. And he wanted to really. It was before he shot the movie that he just did, uh -huh. so that was his way of like testing the cameras and like. Yeah. That was his, oh, that's like, cool. A way to practice before he started shooting the movie. It's so. a great. It's a great video, but the song's really amazing. Thank you, yeah. thank you, man. Yeah. Um, is that, do you go into songwriting? Like, is your style to like think of, you know, do you just write down like a, and like, oh, this is a title or just like let whatever it comes out of you? I mean, for so long, I I, I went to, with, with the strategy of whatever kind of my head, I write it down type shit. Like mm -hmm. I would rap in my head all the time. So like, I'm pretty sure like you guys think of a joke. You're like, fuck, I'm going to write it down. Like, yeah, like yeah. you in your fucking yeah. bed and you about to fucking fall yeah, asleep. Always. Always. And a punchline pop up in my fucking head. Yep. And I'm like, Fuck. Or the shower. I've had to ride on fucking shower walls yeah. before. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I tell myself I'm remember it. Like fuck, I and you never it. will. Never, never, will. Yeah, never will. So I did that for so long that I think I'm kind of like blessed to be able to just write punchlines and shit on the spot. Yep. Yeah. Type shit. So did you hear that beat first? The ain't it funny beat is crazy. No, the, I have. You know? See, that's the thing. My producer Paul White, he sends me so many fucking beats that I would. I, I'd probably write a song right now for beat that was made four years ago. So okay. there's no telling how long I had that beat before I even started writing to it, which is a good thing because you get so many ideas to listen to a piece of music for so long. Mm -hmm. Like, and a lot of times I have so many beats from them and stuff. I just put beats on, I listen to them and I will let stuff just happen on its own more so than be like, I'm going to sit here and write a rap. Like I'm going to write a song or yeah. I'm going to come up with this concept. No, I would just like put beats on and every now and then I might have a couple bars for this beat. I might come up with a hook for this beat. Uh -huh. I might come up and... Eventually, it just starts painting its own picture for itself. I don't really go into the, trying to force it no more. I've always wanted to ask about like this. Like you have such a distinct performing voice. Mm -hmm. Did you always perform with that? Like you no. know, what I mean, no. no. It took a long time for me to actually find that voice. To find that voice. Yeah, I probably did like three mixtapes before I even started rapping like that. Really? Yeah, I think Adderall. <laughs> that really what happened. Adderall I remember, should get a lot of credit, man. I was on Adderall one time. I remember like the beginning stages of Adderall. I used to be like, fuck, I feel like a superhuman. Like I'm really like like I can see further. I can hear louder. Yeah. Like I really thought, like I was really bought into the whole thing of like I'm a better person with it type shit. <laughs> yeah. It makes me work better, stick like that. But yeah, it's a it's a downfall to that too. <laughs> yeah, Don't yeah, get me yeah. wrong. It For makes sure. you a fucking psycho in some shit. <laughs> <laughs> like I've had a lot of like bipolar situations because uh, of Adderall. Oh really? Saying? Hell yeah. You just have these like <laughs> mood swings. When you take it for so long, yeah. you have these crazy like mood swings, which I can't really like yeah, like you'd be like, something's fucked up with that. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I've never done. You ever did you do that at all? No, I uh, no, <laughs> <laughs> no. I like downers. I like. I don't like being. I like downers. Like I want to do Xanax or yeah, like pot that sleep. brings me down. You yeah, want to go to I like. Yeah, I you know? like downers too. Fuck with I uppers. do too. Mm -hmm. After uppers. <laughs> after. <laughs> <laughs> That's a real party man right there. If you're like, yeah, after the other shit. Yeah. Um. All right. So there's this guy. I was trying to give you a heads up. That yeah. This guy is. I mean, he's too cool for. The, the cool guy club so we have to put him in his own club um, <laughs> he's his own club dude. Like, just to give you like a little like test or what we're talking oh, about shit. <laughs> god damn that's uh, the right reaction so yeah. this oh, is yeah. hard rock nick and um this motherfucker like a magician <laughs> yes <laughs> i just know he knows some magic tricks <laughs> <laughs> oh, we were thinking genie. <laughs> Does he look like a genie? Just know this motherfucker knows some magic tricks. definitely knows some magic <laughs> if, if you saw just a photo of this guy, you'd be like, it's about yeah. to do some shit. Right here, yeah. Something's yeah. going to disappear in a second. Yeah. It's uh, been a while, hasn't it? Oh, oh, shit. I decided to make a video since I'm stuck on the 405 on my way to Santa Monica. I think the topic of this video will be something a little more personal. Let's talk about why badass, good-looking, rich guys don't have girlfriends, like me. Why is it that girls will date a guy that has half my wallet, half my dick, half my car, half my bank, 
half my personality, half my looks, <laughs> half my wardrobe, half my sexual prowess. But they'll pass up a guy like me who's fun, good looking, interesting, edgy, educated, and what wants to be. His, um, eyelashes done? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hold on. Eyelashes and eyebrows. Oh, this yeah. is a bad bitch right here. He is a bad bitch. <laughs> he's, just a, he's just a bad bitch. That's why. I mean, what, what, why did a woman want to be with a bad bitch? <laughs> oh, yeah. He's got jewelry. I know. The earring? He's a bad bitch. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he is a bad bitch. Let's talk about that. Okay. As you get older, you understand it's actually a compliment why a guy like me is single. And then I look around and guys that have big ass bellies or, you know, buy all their shoes at Kmart have <laughs> girlfriends. Why do they have girlfriends? Or why don't I? <laughs> what I'm saying, man, this is, this is, I bet you this motherfucker know how to fight, too. That's he might. He might. This nigga will fuck you up in jail. <laughs> like this is the type of shit that that make me never commit crimes again. Yeah. This is the type of motherfuckers you run into in the county jail and shit like that. Yeah, talking all kinds of crazy. And talking shit. about bitches and shit. You like motherfucker? I know you a bad bitch. Like I know you ain't. Come on, man. If you look too good and you got it going on, women are motherfucking hating cunts. They don't like to see you ball. What? They don't like to see you ball. What? They don't like to see you succeed. They don't like you looking better than them. They there don't you want go. you being desirable because that's gonna make them vulnerable to you leaving their bitch ass. Oh. I would think he has a fucking um one of those hoop cock ring type like <laughs> yeah, yeah. dick yes. I would definitely yes. think this motherfucker got a hoop hanging out his you dick are, ear. <laughs> you're, you're you three for three it. so far it, like just a close <laughs> man is, my dick is pierced nailed my dick is pierced <laughs> I can fight and I can do magic too yes this, so. that's, he was a bad bitch I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> look at this he has his frame. own yes he has his own coat following Absolutely. Um, fuck. And I bet you can belly dance. Like, dude, the uh, sexy, like, who yeah. and shit. Now, <laughs> so, you know what, though? You've got a point here. Because he's got that appeal that Prince had. Let's be honest. When you oh, break it down, shit. Prince bad bitch, yeah. was a small motherfucker. He yeah. was short. He wore heels. That was a bad bitch. All of that weird, weird beard bitch. shit, too. Yeah. Right? Weird, weird fucking beard beards. Shit. But probably, bitches loved him. Bitches loved him. Yep. I mean, and they probably have the same net worth. Yes, you know? easily. Yeah, I know. Um, bitch don't like cause he just too. He too much of a bad bitch. Like bitch don't yeah. want to be around. That's know. right. Another bad bitch. Yeah. Yo, just, it's how much? Competition. I hear you. Now, how much do you think this guy's worth? Just eyeballing the jewelry. The like, look at his style. What would you guess? I think he work at like Office Depot or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, guess again. He is worth three hundred fifty million dollars. You're lying. That's what he says. That's what he says. Not with that polo shirt. <laughs> like, I don't even think this is a real polo shirt. I know they make polo shirt with the big men, but this one might be fake. That's a big um, polo. You're right. That's a big fucking and horse. And the collar on that motherfucker. He definitely yeah. went through this shirt a few times. Yes. <laughs> like, You're definitely right. He done had a bar fight in this motherfucker, <laughs> everything. Yeah, but you well, bring up a good point. This logo, the polo logo, this is about I 10 times normally smaller, isn't it? They make big ones like that. Oh. They do. Oh, okay. This motherfucker. I, the horse and the man are like morphing into one thing right now. Well, <laughs> There's no separation between horse and man. Don't forget uh, that somebody like Nick probably has access to stuff that they don't release to the oh, public. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, you're you know, right. It's probably like, like a special. Couture. And he has a pickup yes. truck. Yes. I mean, that's one of his. He has it's like a well. bad bitch slash scary <laughs> motherfucker all in one. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> he's got. Well, uh, he he got, goes to Gold's Gym, too. He's got six houses, 12 cars. Like, he's just going. Personal chef. Like, he's going to smack his lips and smack the shit out of you. Like, I ain't got time for no man. I ain't got time for no man doing all this, then whooping on my ass. Like, come on, dog. Well, so, yeah, we haven't watched this one yet. Why don't you go ahead and show us this video? What's yeah, this, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. What's up? What's up? I get this question a lot. Okay. Okay. Why do I wear pink? Mm. Okay. So much. I wear pink because I like pink pussies. Oh. There you you go. know, like inside. Right. I like to actually spread the pussy lips open okay. while I'm fucking missionary. <laughs> yeah. That shit's hot. Yeah. And the other reason I like pink or wear pink is because if you look at all the richest men in the world, which I'm one of, I have 20 million in the bank. No bullshit. 20 Google million. It. 
suck on my fucking testes. <laughs> um, all the richest men in the world wear pink. Yeah. 50 Cent. True. There you go. True. Wears pink. Tom Cruise. Mm hmm. Wears pink. All right. Simon Rex. Fucking wears Simon pink Simon Rex. So that's what it is, man. Who's Simon? Um, 20 million in the bank and fucking growing. I hate him, man. Um, you don't need hair when you're this good looking, baby. <laughs> yeah. There you go. I well, try now to be on this bad bitch team, but <laughs> nah, I hate him. I don't like him because I know this is a motherfucker you don't want to run into on the streets. But part two of the story: what if this motherfucker like five four? <laughs> 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 Everything changes. It might, yeah. Do you, yeah. Can you bring up his uh, his bio? His bio that he wrote. Because it kind of will inform but you. But he likes over six feet. I'm terrified. Yeah. Now, hold on. He said he's worth $20 million, but before he said $75 million, didn't Oh, my God. Liquid? There, 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 uh, you just had it. Um, <laughs> the Sheik. It is, oh, yeah. There so he is. He wrote his own bio. He's see? Own. So, born in Vegas, grew up in Manhattan. Don't say his height, though. He grew up in, yeah. in LA, yeah. It's kind of hard to see that one. I mean, he has some selfies we might be able to see. But see, look, worth a good $350 million, Oh, $350 Not million. counting the house I live in. I prefer eating pussy from the back. Almost 300 pounds, Danny, but I carry it like I'm 210. Oh, so. damn. But he also shops at Bristol Farms, Gelson's, or Whole Foods Market. You, can, you should consider rewriting your bio, Danny. everyone in the porn business that he wanted to. Yep. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> that right there is like, fuck. Yeah. That is the resume. Yeah. That's the resume right yeah. there. He's in Brentwood, too. He put the location. Him. I hate him. I hate him. <laughs> I tried to be on his team, man, but the more and more I look at his eyes, when this I see goddamn it. eyelash, eyebrow combo, man, make me want to punch the shit out of him, but I don't think I can take him. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I don't think I can take them. You don't want none, man. I definitely don't want none. No, mm. no. Hard Rock I Nick. Him. I hate him. Hard Rock Nick, man. Well, that's probably, that's photo was taken in one of his six houses. Yeah. You know? So you're saying if you were in jail with this guy. Oh, uh, man, I, should, I keep my mouth closed. You, you keep it shut, though. Because yeah. <laughs> you don't know what he's capable keep, of. No, you know what he's capable of. He and this motherfucker right. with us. That. I know he did some shit. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't getting here on his own. You know what I'm saying? He had to put in some work. So, hell no. Well, no problem. <laughs> oh, my God. Look. That is. Oh, oh, oh so check it out. You okay. see that, like, Cuban link chain on the yeah, outside? Yeah, I see. I want, so my 40th is coming up, and you're a rapper. Will you please tell my wife that I should yeah. get one of those for my 40th? It's unethical. To oh. not get it. <laughs> oh, to not get a chain. Yeah. Okay, so what should I, I mean, be? No, no, yeah. you, don't, you don't need it. Stop it. Yeah, no. I'm not team. Like, I don't have jewelry. I'm not that. I have. Um, you have fronts. I did until I got my teeth fixed. Wait, your you don't teeth have are amazing. Nah. Your teeth look great. They Thanks. look amazing. amazing. Now, what did you do? $30,000. Yeah. <laughs> and a year off work. Wait, but uh, Looks you, great. So what happened to the fronts? Oh, I can't fit them no more. Really? Yeah. So I got, I'm either going to take the diamonds out and do something else with them or I don't know. How much were front? Can you tell us that? I spent 10000 on one and I spent maybe 7500 on another one. So you're looking at about wow. 20 grand spent, in your mouth was in. Then I had another one I spent like 15000 on. Oh, wow. shit. Yeah. My last one I spent the most on. So should I get those, you think? Yeah. For my 40th? Yeah, but see what happened with me, you know, trying to be so cool, it, 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 it accelerated. My teeth was already fucked up anyway. Uh -huh. But me wearing the grills, it accelerated it. And what it was oh. was that oh. me wearing the grills on like flights and shit. And I would fall asleep. Uh -huh. oh. And the saliva would just, you know, get caught up in there. And they saying that's pretty much like acid for your teeth. <laughs> oh, shit. Like I was really like a few steps away from dentures. Really? My what? shit was, I had to get bone graft and all that. <gasps> no way. That's why I had to take so much time off. Really? To get all of that fixed? Mm -hmm. I did not know that. Yeah. So this, that, that's actually a better case for buying the chain. I guess, but <laughs> people, see with me, I'm from the hood, so yeah. Yeah. can't nobody snatch a grill. That's uh -huh. true. I mean, you know what I'm now saying? I like, Ain't no one's yeah. robbing you for your fucking. That's just disgusting. Yeah, that's you true. You want me to pull my shit out my mouth like, uh, <laughs> I'm going to spit chain. all in this shit. Like, uh. <laughs> that chain will get snatched. But yeah, they're going to snatch that mouth. Well, what, I understand, that's like, true. all right, why don't we set uh, like a ceiling, a price limit to the What's chain? a reasonable amount I should spend on his chain for his 40th birthday? I mean, what I know for a good chain, and yeah. you want a piece too? Uh, no, I'll just do the chain. Just a chain? Yeah, just a oh, chain. Oh, just a chain. At least it's his 40th birthday, so let's go special. I would say for Cuban Link, too, they're expensive, and you yeah. want something heavy. You yeah, want yeah, something yeah. Solid. Heavy. You don't want no hollow-ass bullshit. That's right. Right. At least got to be like 
Fifteen K. Fifteen thousand. Yeah. Well, we got to get a new sponsor. You know, we just got fired. <laughs> but you could get something like five. Five thousand. Yeah. Okay. Do you know any steakhouse is listening? I mean, I would say um, I wouldn't say it on on air. Okay, but off the air, we yeah, yeah yeah. All right all right. Okay. I ain't got. They got. So they got show me some love. Yeah yeah. So I'll be giving. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. All right. Well, that's okay. Five thousand. Jewelry people are shitty, man. I swear. They yeah. treat you like shit. Well, you know what the yeah. big thing about jewelry that fucks with everybody is that. Unless you're really in the know, you can get hustled so easily. What? Who you like, telling? <laughs> and then they don't give a flying fuck about you. No. Like, you know? Who you telling? No, I know. It's Did like, you get ripped off? You hold up no, chains. I never really got ripped off because I'm just so so cheap in some sense that I'm going yeah. to check this shit as soon as I buy it from you. And if it's fucked up, I'm coming to holler at you. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. yeah. Every time I bought jewelry, I pretty much um, went about it the sensible way. Which is the dumbest way, to be honest, is going to and be like, look, that's how much I got. What you going to do for me? Oh, you know right, what I'm right, saying? Never right. let her, because then they always going to undersell you in that sense. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. You're never going to get what you really pay for in that sense. That's right. Yeah, jewelry's just, I don't know. But, but if you don't do that, it's almost like they're going to, you can come at that motherfucker with the intention of spending a couple of dollars. And next thing you know, you're like, fuck, you get your receipt. Like, fuck, I just spent $20,000. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how you fucking conned me into this. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, well, it's also like, you know, you, you start looking at stuff and it's, there's no, I mean, mystery to it. People just show you the baddest shit and people will be like, that's what I really want. They're like, oh, that's this much. Yeah, and then yeah, they yeah. start telling you deals and shit. Like, it's really 50000 I'm going to give it to you for this. You're really yeah. getting a deal. You, 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 you taking me out, you know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. They always you're say like, that oh, shit. Fuck, yeah. And then you know, you're like, oh, you think you getting over type yeah. shit. These yeah. motherfuckers got you. So it's like, I got to make my money. It's a dirty money. game, man. Jury, I just don't, you know. You know what I'm going to do? Yeah. I'm going to hit up. Nick, I don't yeah, know why I'm asking. He knows. That. Ask Nick. He knows. <laughs> he knows everything about everything. This yeah. guy. I'm more He's into watches, like getting just rare, like vintage watches. This one oh, loves you? it. Yeah, that's cool. This is my new. I got a Domino's Pizza Rolex. Hey, what is that? <laughs> if you like, um, you know, people that have like, uh, check it out. Yeah, people, Domino's Pizza Rolex. If you have a Domino's Pizza and you sell enough pizzas in a year, yeah, the owner of Domino's give you a Rolex. Oh, that's cool. So obviously, uh, somebody just you know so damn Rolex. <laughs> <laughs> so whoever shot out awesome. that Domino's owner. Wow. Oh my god, dude, it legit is. <laughs> you guys, there's really a Domino's pizza box on this roll. So I like stuff like that though. That's this is awesome. the best thing I've ever seen. But you can't resell it because no one gives a fuck about shit like that. You know, <laughs> but only I my do. Goofy, yeah. yeah, but I love this it. Is perfect. I yeah. love this. I love that. So they do it for every restaurant. Like Arby's is the most expensive <laughs> one. If you can find an Arby's Rolex, an Arby's they're Rolex? not cheaper than fifty thousand type shit. What? Yeah. What? Like the resale value on them is crazy. 50 grand. Mm -hmm. But Damn. that's why actually from the 90s. So shouts out. Whoever that's pretty did. dope. Domino's Pizza. So somebody the sold a fuckload of pizzas. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they, did, they just gave away their trophy like that to my dumb ass. Yeah. That's, that's going to be a great uh, family heirloom for your, your children. I got so many dumb watches. They don't make no sense. <laughs> Can inherit Wait, what's another one pizza you have? Hut I love this. I just like buying vintage. Like I got all like the ninety Rolexes, like yeah. Biggie and Tupac were wearing and shit like that. Yeah, but that's cool. Then I have like the Rolex Jay Z wrapped about on imaginary player with the real Rolex diamonds and shit like so you that. Got, you got you yeah. got some some nice watches. Then I get like the old nineties Jacobs and stuff, the early two thousand yeah. Jacob watches and stuff. Oh, I you have like a you're a collector. Too. Yeah, in that sense. Uh, wow. What's like the all right? Because what's the dumbest <clears throat> shit you've bought? Oh, I have a lot of that shit. Oh, I tell mean me. clothes. <laughs> Yeah. Really close was yeah. to like, a, a, which I've stopped. Like, I guess after so long of just collecting shit and buying stuff. But I bought um, so many dumb, like, I, one time I was in London at Selfridge and I bought this dumbass, like, a Rick Owens, like, sleeping bag <laughs> cape type of thingy. I can't even explain what it is. I actually what? Saw, it's on video, it's a picture of it somewhere. And um, it's just a cape. It looks like a sleeping bag. With a string, That's and you awesome. just tie the string around your neck, and it just drapes over you. How much? It was like three thousand dollars. Oh. <laughs> that makes and me happy. And I can't do nothing with this motherfucker. It's yeah. just sitting in my closet looking stupid. Yeah. Oh. Like what the fuck? So yeah, I don't. Yeah, with like buying expensive clothes is definitely the dumbest. Thing I think you can clothes do. is kind of even crazier in a way because I bought some expensive clothes. Well, it's after we got that than... McDonald's money, you went a little crazy and you had to well, return some of the stuff. I know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's, like, it's almost crazier than jewelry in a way because clothes, uh, clothes you get like. 
a few whatever wearings one out picture of it. now see yeah. I, I if, might if, if it's a picture on instagram in it you got it it's over it's with you done. can't wear it again that's yeah. so true but a good piece can be timeless like a good jacket that's true can Jacket's last for a good piece you know but but yeah. fashiony stuff fashion eh, stuff no, kind of silly I've definitely yeah definitely wasted a lot of money on yeah that high end like high <laughs> end yeah. stuff i want to see your cape if you come back will you still, wear the I cape can, i can find a picture of it i'll show you what Please do you wear make it of, by the way there's this whole thing going on now about like some of the high-end fashion lines being accused of like blackface stuff. I mean, they always been racist and shit. <laughs> yeah. so like Montclair this week. <laughs> yeah, Prada. I mean, all Gucci. that shit been like that, man. At the end of the day, have man, they been have they been doing stuff like that a long time? I'm, not, I'm just not even familiar. I just saw the stories. I know that in the fashion world, a lot of a lot of brands feel that once it's popping in like urban communities, that's the decline of their line. Well, in yeah. some oh, sense, so I can see where Gucci. To me, I think it was a planned situation after they did the dapper dan thing they did the most nigga shit they can do uh-huh. and then <laughs> they did some nigga shit you know what i'm saying like, yeah <laughs> so that was just a check they already got the money from us like gucci has been revived so many times like it it, it pops then it fall off and it pops right, and right. this was their way of saying y'all niggas stop buying this shit right now so we can get back to being you know cool in our audience wow because right now it's like an urban brand yeah you know so you think though there is like oh, some like almost conspiracy in a way right yeah like, like they're definitely... i really i think that was i think that was purpose they did that on, they don't want black people to wear their clothes right now no shit they, they had a nice five-year run with us and so now they're like hold on let us get back to being high end and then when we need y'all motherfuckers again we'll make some so, fucking all over print shit with right. big logos on it <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's no fucking way like the one thing that gets me out is like when you see these stories and there'll be images uh, with like something resembling, you know, blackface. Or yeah, something. it's that so weird. There's no way, but when they're like, "Oh, we just made that," I didn't, we're even thinking like that. Like because a fashion house like that to approve of something, yeah, to yeah. Go you know how many channels they, they had know. to go through? They knew so what they were doing. Yeah. They knew what they, they were doing. doing. That's like the I say, part I think that's... they just really wanted. That was their whole way of like, chill out, y'all gotta <laughs> yeah. stop wearing Gucci. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, uh, uh, Tip found the. I guess he. It was an older Montclair. Mm-hmm. jacket and you're like is this real yeah and it it definitely didn't well, I, I don't know about this jacket. I, I know the gucci it was a sweater right and it had yeah. the mouth cut out no, the gucci, silly. i mean the montclair really had like real like blackface type, but it was actually a designer in the 90s that was a black designer from paris i can't think of his name right now but he actually used to do that too though so I, I in some sense i thought they was trying to like do a take on what he used to do in some sense but i don't know that's so crazy yeah, I mean, it's so, it's so all these things are coming that's out the now. Claire jacket. Okay, let me see. Sorry, but then, I know you guys can't see this, I but know. it's a jacket. Oh no! But then swipe. <laughs> so racist. Swipe. Oh no! So yeah, this is bad. What this is, is that? And they're like, what? It's, it's just a dude smiling. It's literally no, like the they know southern. They doing, but that yeah. got, that's what I feel like. That's just a. Oh, that's this a campaign. Quite thing. literally is. I'll they show you the you pattern. Think. That's the. Yeah. He says, "Show the camera," oh. and then they'll bring it up. And then the jacket is, I don't know, what what is this called? The, is this black? It's like this old-timey Southern. It looks like a, a, like <clears throat> it looks like a minstrel show. Yeah, yeah minstrel, show, minstrel stuff. show stuff. It's so like ridiculous. That? It's ridiculous. It's very R-worded. How are you going to walk around and be like, oh, it's just my, I'm a big fan of like uh, <laughs> early 1900s, <laughs> ni- yeah, racist movies. <laughs> yeah, I just. It's my favorite thing. Yeah, but in stuff and stuff like that don't really age well either so like motherfuckers that buy that shit is just like it's so trendy for now like yeah yeah you can't wear that jacket in five years you look stupid no of course not where are you gonna wear that jacket right now <laughs> <laughs> so that's my thing i try to now buy clothes with the with the thought of timelessness almost yeah, yeah. like so where do you right. go where like do you a buy nice clothes? thing now yeah I, I buy clothes now shit from amazon <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah but in my time like i used to high-end shit i would like go to bird offs and you know selfridge or really it's all about going to like certain stores and like certain places like i go to new york i know i'm a shop i come out here i know i'm a shop you know i go to london i know i'm a shop but i ain't going to fucking shopping in minnesota no yeah. you know what i'm saying yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, know, buying shit out there. you know what i'm saying might get some shit in vegas might get some yeah, shit in yeah. miami so it's all about when you yeah. just get in these certain places that's when you go new shopping. york is always the yeah fucking, bird off and yeah. fucking dover street all that shit yeah yeah it's dope yeah it's yeah. good can we talk about jail for a minute 
What about it? Well, we've been watching that show Love Women After Lockup. Women are motherfucking hating cunts. Oh, shit. Did you ever get on um an inmate dating site? Oh, uh, man. I was the inmate dating site. Yeah. So, <laughs> we, were, we were just we're, on this. We, we, well, tell us everything. So, we're dying to know. So I was, I, was, I was actually a lucky motherfucker to get the opportunity to work registry. And registry <laughs> in jail is like the best job you could possibly get. What is it? Registry is when people come in to get registered. Okay. There's only two people can work this job. So I got lucky to end up getting a job. Through some rap shit, too. That's just a long story. Whatever. Really? But I got the job working registry. And what that means is when people <laughs> come in to get registered, you just the person down there helping the police. You know, if they tell you, give them some greens, go get them something, you know? Oh, so that the cops? You the motherfucker that pass out the sandwiches and shit. And police have to obviously be like, this is a, somebody who's not a problem. Yeah, right. so, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so like any other inmate, you know, I would get letters from girls or whatever on the outside and stuff, but it got to the point I was like, fuck this shit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> and what I would do is, I would pass out the sandwiches to the female inmates too. Smart. So oh. I see one come in, you can see her broken and battered. <laughs> You don't know what she's going through. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> you need a sandwich, so girl. I was always that shoulder. She could lean on. Yeah. I, would, I would get the inmate number. I would look okay. on the slip, and I would get the inmate number, and then I would write them. Like, yeah, I was the guy passing you the sandwiches. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I see your case. I know what you're going through, baby. Oh. You get what I said? Yes. So I got to the point after like six months of this, I was never getting mail on the outside. I was only getting mail from the other, other inmates. inmates. That's inmates. perfect. <laughs> so then we can do like little freaky shit. Like she, I know her court date. She'd come down, show me her titties or something through the bar. What? I'd be going back to my cell like it's the best day of my life. Like I saw yeah, titties. I saw titties. Y'all don't know what the fuck is going on right now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but a titty flash when you're in what? jail. What? It was like, like the world. Yeah, yeah. Like fuck, I'm watching girlfriends and shit every day, getting horny off that shit. That yeah. was like the real deal. Like what? I just saw some nipples. Y'all can't fuck with me in this motherfucker. I don't give a fuck. I stopped eating the fucking food in that motherfucker after that. I'm just like I'm straight. Dude. Dude, that is so you mean to tell me so you would you would find out when her court date was and yeah. then you would somehow Especially, how would you get to see her though I, like you because you should know when she's coming down or you might get lucky going and down meaning down. you go down okay, to the register get, area go, you got to go down to the register area to go to court most okay. of the people in the county jail are people fighting cases they ain't really got their time yet so they do right. it to go through the process you're basically of held out. before yeah you held thing. before yeah. you go unless yeah. you already got time and you're doing time there you can't do more than a year in the county jail so right so yeah, a couple of girls got time where they was in the county. Then you wouldn't see them no more because they're not coming back down. Gotcha. But we'll be writing each other little freaky letters and shit. Was jail uh, <laughs> like was it was it terrifying or was it like manageable? Of course, it's terrifying in the beginning. <laughs> yeah. But once you get to jailing, once you get used to the shit, yeah, I ain't gonna lie, man. It was probably some of the funniest times I've ever had in my life. <laughs> You meet the funniest motherfuckers in the world in jail. I hate to say yeah. it, man. Yeah. So it probably did. It did a good. It did a good job of my personality. <laughs> <laughs> I, can, I can't thank it. I can't. I, I can't thank the world for that experience. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But What's the best part? What did you like most about jail? I ain't saying I liked anything about jail because <laughs> I would never want to go back. Right. But. Um, it just was fun, mother. Because you got to think at the end of the There's day. There's funny dudes in there. You a grown ass man. But <laughs> you get and reduced back to a child level. Yeah. Right. Because a motherfucker telling you when to sleep, motherfucker telling you when to eat. So all you do is act like a kid. At that time, you running around <laughs> acting like just silly as fuck. It's yeah. no like you're not getting high. You're not. But was well, another thing too with me working registry is you get access to the cigarettes. Oh. Uh, so I was yeah. like the guy that sold the cigarettes in jail, even though I didn't sell any cigarettes. I shut that shit down. I just smoked them. Oh you know right. What I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So, so I would use my cigarettes would give me leverage to do shit. You know what I'm saying? Did like, you have to sneak where you could smoke them too? Is it like a, yeah? yeah how yeah, do you definitely. smoke in yeah, jail? Because there was no cigarettes allowed in the county. I mean, we're just you smoke after lockdown, like after 10 p.m. when they cut all the lights out and shit. Everybody's smoking in their room. Type really? Shit. Uh, yeah. And but you have a is it is it ventilated? You have a window. I mean, once or they lock shit? you down, them motherfuckers leaving out the bubble. They ain't paying y'all no attention no yeah. more. They what? every now and then we get raided and get caught. And what you do is it's it's terrible. You take um baby powder and put it in the sock and you just beat the walls and everywhere and you wake up in the morning looking like a fucking cocaine castle. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but uh yeah, and or you spray bleach. And it gets you rid have of the bleach smell. And, and baby powder. So that was our air fresheners. But wow. so yeah, so me, I would have the cigarettes, so I would just use cigarettes. Like I could be wanting to take a nap and motherfuckers out there yelling too loud, playing spades. I'm like, I give y'all motherfuckers a cigarette to shut the fuck up. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Give them a cigarette. They shut the fuck up. Yeah. So I was like running shit because of cigarettes and shit. Cigarettes are great <laughs> commodity, man. So it's 10 o'clock, lights out, the guards aren't around. Mm -hmm. What go, like, Is that when the party starts? Yeah, you smoke a cigarette and take you out to sleep. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do, That's all it is. You to talk do. shit to other guys or you, you uh, the funniest shit I've seen in jail was that motherfuckers you could you can take a trash bag and put it over your toilet and like plunge all the water out. And then you just yell through the bowl, and motherfuckers will yell back because motherfuckers <laughs> did it two on other floors. It's like the, it's like the dating chat line of jail. Really? You can meet bitches there. They're like, "What's up? What's <laughs> popping? Shit, what you, what's going on with you? What flow you on? <laughs> I'm on the six. Are you? <laughs> what where you from? Me? You know what I mean? It's like, yeah, it's, it's hilarious. But you don't want a bunkie that does that. You don't want to no. beat his motherfucking ass. Yeah, you yeah. trying to sleep no. with this motherfucker yelling? How was you bunkie? I had cool bunkies. To be honest, the last bunkie I had, that motherfucker was on the first 48. He got killed. <laughs> what? Really? Rest in peace, Robert Guevara. That's my homie. <laughs> Damn. We got to a beef one time because for some reason this motherfucker like bananas and shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, when you work at like registry and shit, you get put in oranges. That's when you get a job. You kind of got more access to food than like a normal inmate. So this motherfucker would steal like the whole shits of bananas, the whole stocks and shit, and just be in the bunkie and just be in the room, just <laughs> eating banana after banana. And it, that's nothing that will annoy me, you know what I'm saying? Get your potassium up, I guess. Yeah, but yeah. The nigga would take a shit like right before lockdown, you know what I'm saying? And the like shitty banana smell is like the worst thing to sleep through. It's like, man, it's like I seen a yellow fume or something pass my face. Like, uh. Uh, so yeah, so, so you yeah. like were you like dial it back with the fucking bananas, man? Yeah, we got into it. We almost had had a situation, but yeah. But then I remember I got out of jail and I was chilling, watching fucking first forty eight, and this motherfucker He's got on killed. It? He got wow. killed. <laughs> the wow. motherfucker over there was like, you know, he was the mother that got murdered. But damn, did they? Uh, did they? Uh, was it one of the episodes they caught somebody for? Yeah, and he was the one getting charged for killing him. Type oh, shit. All right, all okay. Right. Well, he got his bananas. Well, rest in peace, man. Damn. Now, so you guys. <laughs> You're telling me that you have to take a shit. So there's one toilet in in the room with both of you. Yeah. Now, how do you sh do you get used to shitting in front of the other guy? Does no, I mean you got a room, but then it's a pie. You don't have to be sitting in that room all day. So if you if okay. we not locked down, the rule is ain't nothing happening once we lock down. So whatever you got to do, do that shit before gotcha. we lock down. Uh, so if you got to take a shit. I'm out here watching TV somewhere. You in the room taking a shit. Whatever, okay. You know? So you guys kind of work it out. Yeah, like, hey, get the out. fuck out of here. I have yeah. to shit. Yeah, yeah. They know. Take shit. Yeah. 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 And yeah. you have toilet paper. Yeah. Yeah. You well, can I buy mean, all that know. shit from commissary. Okay, you get it from the commissary. Mm -hmm. Got you, got you. Okay. And what kind of snacks did you have? I oh, know. Oh, man, I was yeah. the king of like, um. Yeah, what was, what's the high value snack? See, with me, I'm not really a sugar motherfucker like that anyway. Yeah. So with me, when commissary, you only could spend $100 like a week or some shit. Mm -hmm. So I was more so the, the socks, draws, t shirt buying motherfucker, which yeah. damn near would kill your whole $100 or some shit. Yeah. Sure. So I always just bought new socks because I didn't, I'm not a motherfucking here washing t-shirts and shit. Yeah. Like, you know, that shit just lame. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. So I just always stay new socks. Fresh, new, fresh yeah. socks. Yeah. So I was more so on that way. <laughs> Man, hey, fresh socks still feel good. Yes, right? that's what yeah. I'm saying. I love so fresh fuck socks. that. It's the so best. I always kept, and it's to the point where I would stack up so many like dirty socks and t-shirts and drawers. And shit. Motherfuckers would take them from me. Like, I'll take them. And yeah. wash them and wear them themselves. It's disgusting. <laughs> yeah. Get out of here. Get out of here with that yeah. shit. It's disgusting. But what were the big snacks there? Oh, motherfuckers like making, oh, well, me, I had a cool guy from Southwest that made um, burritos. Mm. And he would take, um, that's when you take a bag of Doritos and shit and you crunch them up real fine and you take like a, a plastic bag and you lay that out. Then you put like the, the, the crushed Doritos and you chop up like. Slim Jims and uh -huh. beef sticks and cheese sticks mm -hmm. and all that shit. And you put it together and you roll it up like a burrito. Then mm -hmm. you put it under the hot water. You just let the hot water run and then and it, it melts it. it all together. So those shit was kind of fire, right? Yeah, that's kind of like, good, actually. <laughs> I'd eat that shit. Well, <laughs> the fucking what flavor Dorito? Yeah, yeah, I like yeah. Is it nacho cheese Dorito? Yeah, yeah, cool yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, nacho yeah, that's cheese. good. That's no, actually that shit good. was actually kind of fire. And yeah. another thing a guy put me up on was what got me through a lot, too. You take a um, bag of like barbecue chips yeah. and you crunch those. They always crunching up chips. I don't know. Yeah, chips it's interesting. So they crunch up barbecue <laughs> chips and you put boiled eggs in it. And you shake them up. And you shake them up. Uh -huh. And you pour it out. It's like a, it's, it's like Happy Easter. So yeah, so it's like a seasoned <laughs> yeah. barbecue Boy, egg. Yeah. That's not bad. That's good too. That shit was fire. That's yeah, I actually was eating that shit on the outside for a while. <laughs> <laughs> well, the homies had to stop me. Like, man, you keep eating like that, you gonna be back up in that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I miss those eggs, man. Like, you jinxing that shit, man. <laughs> keep that shit in there. Did you guys? Did you have access to booze when people sneak? Hell no. no. They, I mean, motherfuckers <laughs> trying to <laughs> booze. Uh, yeah, we're in county jail. Motherfuckers always trying to do weird shit like. like 
like uh, make toilet wine and yeah, stuff. Like, yeah, like uh, I think the banana peels. Oh, okay. You oh. let banana peels rot or some shit. Yeah, I white never lightning. Pruno, white lightning. I yeah. never fucked with that shit. I had cigarettes. I was cool. Cigarettes yeah, you don't need yeah. that stuff. Um, so, you know, you obviously know this is the home of the cool guy club. We found, uh, <laughs> <laughs> we got a, uh, this is, you might appreciate this. This is another voicemail. Uh huh. So, uh, a young lady posted that she was like, I don't know why I gave my number to this guy. Cool. But he, he, he gave her a call and left a voicemail. This is the day after she gave him the number. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Let's, uh, Hey, this is Melvin. I texted you last night. You never responded <laughs> back. Um, <laughs> if you didn't want me to have your number, why did you give it to me? Ooh, that was oh, kind of like dumb as hell. <laughs> It seemed like you one of these little young, dumb-minded brides. Oh, shit. You got your little rinky-dink minimum wage job at Marshall's. Damn! And you think you the bomb and ain't even a firecracker wearing wigs like you some 90-year-old lady with no hair. Whoa. Damn, dude. I mean, I thought you had a nice face and body, but beyond that, there's so many chicks in San Diego with that, and I got plenty of them. So. Damn! Oh, shit. San Diego? Yeah, that's where okay. I'm not about to be chasing you around. I mean, unless you're mentally retarded or something. <laughs> Normally, when somebody calls or texts you that you gave your number, hmm. you respond back. Damn. So, oh. I guess you're too retarded to realize that. Damn. So, I'm going to just go ahead and delete your number. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, Marshall. <laughs> okay. You can use the album. <laughs> yeah. Go for it, dude. Yeah. I love when people tell you, I'm going to delete your number. Just do it, asshole. Yeah, you don't have to tell me you about it. You don't announce that you shit. Don't be the guys that fuck it up for everybody, man. Yeah. yeah. I swear. It'd be like, you yeah. know, like I, 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 when women say men are trash, I think that's, that's it. <laughs> yeah. and, and by the way, this guy left that after I texted you yesterday. That's it. This is the call. And then keep going. <laughs> like, but I mean, like, you texted her. All right. She didn't respond back. And then you leave that voicemail. Well, yeah. That's uh, what cool guys do, though, Gene. I mean, he's too you cool for that? school. He's too yeah. cool for me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, now there's a cool guy. <laughs> <laughs> he's very cool. But there's guys like that. Uh, they keep calling and calling and they don't get the pick. They don't get the message that you're not interested. Yeah. I think this they is like, do what's, do that. what's so cool about this guy is that I think this is call number one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He just. Well, he just shot. He just gave up. He, oh, gave he up. just fucked it up. <laughs> yeah, but. he definitely fucked but it up. But he's older. He de Marshall sounds like he's at least 30. Like, this is a kind of excusable when you're 19, 20. Yeah. But I don't like it worked before. Like, he uh, done told a bitch some shit like this before. Yeah. She's like, hold on, it wasn't like that. It wasn't yeah. like So he yeah. looking for that. Like, yeah. he, he, he's, that's, that, he's very dumb. Yeah. He's a very dominant man right yes. there. He's very dumb. He's I like already also, playing his cards right. He's yeah. dogging her job, but he was at her job. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like, you, you and Marshall's asshole. Minimum wage job. That's where you shot, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. That's a good point, Gene. Yeah. Um, so, oh, what's the, um, what do we want to show? Oh, you a big ODB fan? Of course. Yeah. Check out, uh, we got we got a little, I've never seen this clip, but I wanted to play it. Oh, shit. Aww. This is when he just got out of jail. I remember is it? this shit. Oh, I'm into old asshole. I like it because it's tinier than the pussy hole. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, it's so tiny. It's like tiny as a clitoris. So when I, when I look at Get the feeling of licking a York peppermint patty. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's sensational. That's nasty, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He looks he look crazy right he now. Looks so he crazy. looks so crazy. A little ODB man, but this was, I feel like, you know, this was a different ODB than what we fell in love with right, right, at right. this time in his life. This Were you a big uh, eat a booty guy? Dirt McGirt. Yeah. Like trick daddy eat a booty guy yeah the eat a booty guy <laughs> i mean <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta put a fist in there for that one that's what <laughs> that's what trick does i mean don't get me wrong when a security camera on you yeah you gotta kind of <laughs> you gotta kind of go for the muffler i guess yeah. like Uncle Joey you know what i'm saying <laughs> you gotta go for, go the, for muffler. the muffler you know yeah. what i'm saying yeah yeah he yeah i mean but I'm not he like, doesn't look good there you're right okay let me ODB. ask you this it just just occurred to me sure gene would you rather for yep. my fortieth birthday, yeah, uh, get me like the Cuban link diamond chain, right? Spend fifteen twenty thousand dollars, or just eat my scrum? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, you have to think about this. Yes, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go on the the gold chain. Jesus. Damn. Well, our kids won't go to college. It's fine. Twenty thousand dollars. Yeah, I say ten. You always spend like ten. Ten. Would you eat his scrum? I mean, what the fuck? <laughs> but he's so hairy. 
<laughs> You're nasty. No, I wouldn't eat your scrum. Not for your birthday. It's pretty good. Hardcore fun. Have you ever had a lady lick your scrum? I, yeah, it's, it's, it's amazing. Really? Yeah. Are of course, you, of but course you're not a hairy guy. I, I'm no, guessing you're no, not. I'm not. <laughs> and do, you, do you shower up before she does? I got it? dude wipes. What? Dude wipes. Dude wipes. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got to break out the dude wipes. Okay. Will you dude wipe it for me, Tom? I will definitely do that. And I, <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you what. I'll get waxed. I'll get laser treated down there. And here's what I'll do. I'll do a little like rose petal thing to the bedroom <laughs> and I'll be on the changing table with my legs up. You know? You got to see what I see though. <laughs> 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 uh, now these ladies that have eaten your scrum, Hot I mean, fun? this is not marriage material. I'm assuming these are Yes, just, it is. Does it, these are ladies yeah, that you're serious with? Be, my wife definitely going to eat the booty. Yeah. Really? <laughs> Of course. <laughs> what you mean? I mean, come on. He's like, I'm Danny Brown. What the fuck? I mean, that's yeah. true. That's true. Okay. She just go go for it. Wow. I ain't even go ask. Just go for it. She's nasty. Yeah, you yeah. should do it. No, you should do it. All right. Ugh. ODB was into it. No, I know, but he's different. He's special. He's yeah. more talented. He's crazy, man. He is yeah. crazy as shit. Like, this is this is sad. He had a <laughs> lot of kids. Didn't he have like a lot of children and the child support was the issue for no. his money and stuff? Yeah, because he was day? getting welfare still. Yeah. That's, oh. That was an amazing one too. That was, like, yeah. that was the real ODB. That was the was, best. That was, that was his cribs, right? No, it was no. MTV. It was just like when MTV used to do like MTV news reports. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And they sent <laughs> like this the fucking nerd to go with. <laughs> 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 and he went in a limousine. Yes, he went in a limousine. Yeah. yeah to the welfare Pick up his food steps. Yeah. And he was like, and he was drinking. And it was hilarious. Because his wife or whatever was counting him was like, that's free money right there. <laughs> <laughs> what person going to turn down free money? Yeah, he, he was, was like, amazing. Goddamn, ODB. And he left the welfare <laughs> office in a limo. And he was yes. like, let's go. <laughs> so crazy. That, that is, is the best black excellent at his finest. <laughs> For real. Like that was, Me as a kid seeing that was like, that is what I want to aspire to be. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, like, that is, that's my hero. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That is black excellent at his finest. You yeah. know what I'm saying? ODB. <laughs> was one of a kind man yeah one of a kind um big baby jesus every day every day like man probably three times a day i jerk my dick off so much that the prisoners was actually saying yo dirty chill the fuck out <laughs> 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 I feel like you just said, totally dip, man, this motherfucker was crazy, man. Yeah. He's a fucking genius, though. That was yeah. the thing about it. Anybody, I, I think everybody that's so talented in something, right, they just lose other shit in the process yeah. of becoming that talented because he definitely was a crazy motherfucker, man. He was and a crazy. lot of people used to try to compare me to Old Dirty Bastard and shit a lot and stuff. And I used to be like, y'all crazy, man. I could never compare to no shit like that. Well, he was also like, um, I don't think, like you said, you never learned to rap. Mm hmm. He would just, I mean, I, I, from the interviews and things I've seen, they would just take him in the studio. And yeah, just yeah, he'd just wild out. But yeah. you got to remember, Rizza and Jizza, his cousins. Right. So those are, he was the little cousin. So those are your big cousins oh, I didn't and they know rap. That. Yeah. So he was just looking up to them. Like he would say they owe raps. Yeah. And most of his songs, like just old raps, they wrote his kids and shit. Really? Yeah. Wow. A lot of his raps was like just old raps. He was just randomly saying shit. Are you, were you, uh, is there any producer that you are like, oh man, I would love to do a record with? somebody um i think most of them i've worked with already yeah in some sense but i guess no nah, i wouldn't i wouldn't say because i'm kind of well i can't really talk about that, <laughs> All right, right. that kind of shit but yeah i guess I want but rizza is probably dope. i would love to work with rizza come you on know? i want you to do something with sway the remix god sway the remix i love i love him that i love the shit he do that dude yeah. stuff is yeah. hilarious i love his shit I don't know why I feel like you guys would vibe. No, I definitely I could yeah. I could get on some of his shit. Yeah. But I think um me and music is starting to music is starting to be so um I kind of best way. Like it's starting to be so computerized. Uh -huh. I don't know how to say it. Like it seems just so easy to make type shit. So I'm trying to do a more traditional back to making 30 fucking 40 year old rap now you know what i'm saying i yeah. can't make the shit the kids make no more so yeah 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 i'm starting to go back and take a more traditional approach even with recording it like i don't even really want to record in pro twos and shit anymore i want to still have that old warm tape sound yeah and shit like that so just doing everything that i grew up listening to which is like wu-tang Nas and stuff like that yeah so I'm trying to make music like they made music yeah my deep stuff like that so i'm going back to doing stuff like that now i was just fun. i was just learning the i i because i remember when you know sometimes you remember the moment, 
but you don't realize the hi- historical mm-hmm. impact of it. Like I remember when Illmatic came out. Yeah. But then watching that, there was like this documentary about it. I didn't realize how crazy that album was. Because he was only nineteen. That's yeah. why. Um. And also, who who decided to like? Because like, you forget. Like I just remember buying the album, and listening yeah. to it. But you forget that at the time. He's, it's being produced by like every top producer in the game and that was the yeah. first time that happened nobody really most time you'll get a budget you will just have one producer or you know but like Q-Tip but P-Rock, all the top premiere all the top people and they've seeked him out yeah to work with him that's crazy <laughs> but yeah. he's a fucking prodigy yeah, man yeah, like yeah. 19 years old and saying the shit he's saying that's why I don't never give any excuse when people talk about, but he's young, he's a kid, like especially in this day and age of making music where, you know, rap is probably dominated by teenagers right now. Sure. But Nas was 19, motherfucker, ain't no excuse. No, no. Like, there's no excuse on making dope music. So, so just because you're young don't mean you have the right to make some bullshit. So young, man. <laughs> That's a good point. For real. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what's going on with, with, with uh, this pronoun thing? What is this? Is this another? Wait, trend? what? Oh, the Starbucks stuff? Yeah. Oh, that's uh, oh, something that Christina... This is a while. Oh. Oh, yeah. You put it. At, there's these pins now. Uh, I believe the employees... They, uh, oh, they wear their you pro- can yeah. You can wear your... Do you know about this one, Danny? That's a little bit too much, man. See, that's... <laughs> you see, that's that's only America, man. We take shit too serious. I know. <laughs> Just be like, hey, um, hi, how, how are you? What's your name? What's your, What's your pronoun? They, them, theirs, he, him, his, she, her hers like like literally yesterday i was watching a motherfucking um a dog jumping contest y'all seen this shit <laughs> it was so, and i thought to myself like who cares if your dog jump higher than mine and these motherfuckers took this shit so it was a dog agility contest i know i'm the only motherfucker that seen this shit yesterday and i'm in my hotel room like what the fuck is this only in america where it's a motherfucker true. be like my dog could jump higher than yours it's and so you're like let's bet, let's see and then the motherfuckers did it and, and then they like, televise you know, it it's a fucking competition where everybody bringing their dogs out like my dog jump higher no your dog jump higher. like what the fuck is wrong with y'all motherfuckers no man. yeah it's, <laughs> this is definitely a symptom that's what you do when <laughs> give when, a shit about when this. life is too easy it then is you're too like, let's easy. see how high these dogs can jump and then i think i felt yeah. so bad for the dogs because i'm looking you can see the owners they got these real stern faces they taking this shit serious like god damn man they doing fucking obstacle courses and shit <laughs> yeah like, come on man yeah yeah are we having technical difficulty what's your pronoun press um, pause we we just blacked out oh for a did we here yeah and the doves okay our computers went down for a minute oh Oh, oh, we're all good. oh, we're back. All right. That was easy. Yeah, it does seem like a privileged fucking problem. I was just reading on Twitter um, about weight privilege. What's that? It's a, well, oh, just yeah. when you think you couldn't feel you shittier. To, you need to check your weight you privilege. You got to check your bro. weight privilege. Did you know that because you're, uh, quote, normal weighted, that it's a privilege and you need to oh, check it now? You need to check Because oh, if you're not because overweight. Because people that are overweight, like, don't have the same advantages that you take for granted. Oh wow! Yeah. You know, yeah, and check your privilege because you're under six hundred. You're this <laughs> asshole walking around. Oh wow! Yeah, that's only in America. <laughs> Definitely, nobody so, in Germany thinks about shit like that. No. Like, they yeah. just eat their sausages and pretzels, man, and go about their day, man. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah. Americans bring up like we have a really interesting way of making things like that are not issues. Issues. Like shortly. I'm from the Midwest, so it's kind of cool to be fat. Yeah, yes. you know what I'm saying. Like it's certain places, like Texas, is cool to be fat. Yeah, I love yes. those places because I think that's where I want to retire. Like Texas, like they like fat motherfuckers. Yeah. you yeah. see them in a the strip club eating lemon pepper wings, <laughs> they they one fuck. snatch, like <laughs> sh- throwing the bones. <laughs> yeah. it's like the bitches just come to them. Yeah, yeah. like yeah. you be skinny, they be like, oh, what the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah, yeah. they think you broke. Yeah, <laughs> so I'm, like, I'm gonna hang with this well, fat dude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they think you poor if you skinny. In of course. Texas. Well, like, I was gonna ask you too in the Midwest. Um, do you guys have this pronoun stuff or no? Hell yeah. no, nah, man. They don't. Hey, that's not a thing. This is just the West Coast. You still get beat up for being gay in Michigan. <laughs> <laughs> You just can't be gay walking down certain hoods. Yeah, fuck you up. <laughs> so yeah, I'm, I'm from middle of America, man. We are very close-minded people. Yeah. That's why I can't go nowhere else. That's why I love it, man. Yeah, you're used to it. I want though. some discipline. You want you some? Can't be out here running around wild and keep you in check. Yeah, but yeah. don't you feel like it's more? It's more indicative of the rest of the country, like. This is kind of how normal people are in the yeah, Midwest, not definitely. how L.A. is. And definitely. I know. Definitely. It's no, Ain't nobody on no fucking ketogenic diet and, <laughs> <laughs> and eating kale and being gluten-free and shit. Motherfuckers ordering Domino's and shit, man. Uh, <laughs> like they don't yeah. give a fuck. No. We get lost in a bubble out here. 
Yeah, here in really New York, do. I couldn't San live Francisco. in Los Angeles, man. Yeah. No, it's a bubble. It's just too expensive. I'm, I live like a king where I'm from. <laughs> <laughs> It's the way to, to do it. Honest. I know. That's the way to do it, man. So fuck it. No. I gotta try that Doritos thing. I keep thinking about oh, it. Oh man, that's nasty. <laughs> <laughs> you chop that's up the slim jim. You top yeah, you mm. take okay, so you take a plastic bag okay. and you flatten yes. that out. Go ahead. You take some Doritos and you crunch, crunch them that up, up, crunch them Got up that. real fine. Yeah. You lay them out on the plastic, mm. chop up some cheese, beef and cheese sticks into it. That's the key, the beef and the cheese together. Yeah, and then it wrap melts. it up. And yeah. then you put it under some hot water. It's good. For a minute until you see the cheese. You gotta, you gotta got make it. it the authentic way too. I'm not letting you skip it. <laughs> no motherfucking mic. Don't get me wrong. Like I'm not I wasn't a pro at it. I just pretty much knew what was in it. Yeah. But I had a uh, um it was a guy in my floor that used to make them and he used to kill it. Yeah. yeah he used to kill it. That was like one of the best a cigarette and a burrito for bed. Shit, you living your best life. So That's he would right. <laughs> when he, he would get something in a trade for that, right? right? Oh yeah, you yeah. give him like um shit. He was pretty much um like stamps, that's a big deal. Stamps and letter envelopes and shit like oh, that. Yeah. So he almost shit like that. Are they, so mm. there's got to be dudes in jail who are just, you know, not savvy, not with it, and then they All have of nothing. Them. Everybody. But I mean, like, <laughs> like never, like they're the ones who are like, I need stamps, I need socks, I need shirts, but they don't got shit. They don't got shit. Yeah, it's yeah. a lot, of, and they don't get shit. And they don't get shit. <laughs> yeah. It's a lot of them. In yeah. Jail. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then that makes you just more and more fucking, I guess, bummed out. And yeah, that, yeah, you be the one fucking mopping my floor for a cigarette and shit like mm. that. Yeah. Motherfuckers. Now, what about sorry online access? Because how are these people, these inmates, dating people on the outside? See, that's that, see, that's that's motherfuckers in prison. Oh, yeah. Okay, I was gotcha. In, once you've just gone away jail. for a long time, of, you know, that's when you can buy a TV and. Have, have oh, okay. CD players and shit like that. Where I'm at in county jail, you ain't getting shit. Yeah, right. Yeah, but yeah. you only there for a year. So that's good. So I did eight months. That's still that's long enough. Long <laughs> enough time, dude. One of my friends did. Uh, he did two weeks at the towers, Twin mm-hmm. Towers downtown, which is yikes, horrible. Yeah. Because they forgot about him. Oh yeah, oh. no, that happened. Yeah. You get lost in the system all the time. Fuck. I had my DJ. We did. We had went. He had some um old like warrants or some shit, and we went to China. For a day, like a dummy, like I am. We went to China for a day and came right back home. Oh. And when we landed in New York, the police locked his ass up. He Did was in Rikers really? for like a month. Whoa. He would have got lost in the system too if I didn't have my managers and shit on it and they got him out. Whoa. Wow. Yeah, that's But horrible. he damn near got lost in the system though. That's horrible. That is horrible. Um, yeah. Look, it's so one of my fair. favorite types of videos, I, we played them before. I don't know if you like these or not. This is when somebody is still under the effects of like an anesthesia. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This and um, great. they're coming out of it, you know, but they're saying crazy shit that they normally don't say. And this patient. That's like when I drink. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> drinking. So she is, uh, you know, still under the effects, but this is always, this is a good one. Well, my stomach like be bubbling. Like, what? I heard that's what you said. Every time I eat, it bubble and I gotta go shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm tired of shit. I don't shit She is a very respectful girl. She <laughs> never cursed in front of me like I'm this. I'm tired of shit in this. I, 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 nausea. Zip it. It's coming out nausea. like water. Nausea. <laughs> I am a bad student. We know that. Uh, I have to make it. <laughs> Black excellence. <laughs> Okay, I gotta be a doctor. You, 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 anyway, there's not many can you bring of her us. Back yeah. here? Oh wow! She said black excellence too. Yeah, she did. I want. Are you see. still passing gas? I can't. Oh. Oh shit. Clear out the way. I'm like the hook. <laughs> oh wow. We're clear. Ooh. My, my asshole burning all night. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh. Okay. My asshole burning. Oh, my God. I'm hungry. We know. I'm, my lips dry. I'm, I'm quenched the thirst. We know. Okay, I want some water. Let me take this off again. What else I can oh eat besides God. mashed potatoes? You, you got to have something well, daddy spicy or something that's going to... Oh, no. I don't want my, a, my asshole <laughs> came around no more. Oh, no. She's hilarious. Oh, She's hilarious. I feel girl. like it's a stand-up set right there. Yeah. I know, right? I know. <laughs> this poor woman. She's I coming out see, of anesthesia. I got to see her 15 minutes now. Right. Miss, I love pickled eggs. Oh, my I God. Not, I will not. I will not. You know what pickled egg is? Um, I don't it's know. a hood snack. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Definitely a hood stack. I like her, man. Yeah, she's funny, man. She's amazing. Uh, yeah, she's funny. It's in the hood. <laughs> I'll bring you one. Okay. It's good. <laughs> it's an egg and, 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 oh and two paper goodness. sausage juice, mm. but it's real good. <laughs> but since you don't have asshole problems, <laughs> I doubt you can eat it. <laughs> hey, hey, that's it. That's Fucked up, oh, too, man. Though. Yeah, she's, she's fucked up. Really fucked up. Like yeah, you can see it. Oh. Yeah, that is, uh, man, that anesthesia. Poor like, nausea. And she'll have like no, uh, no record of this, you know, in her mind. I know, I know. Yeah. That's the most fucked up thing. Like, I hate that shit, too. Like, um, when I drink sometimes, I, I black out sometimes, but be conscious. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's not cool at all. It's like, not I cool. want to stop. <laughs> I haven't blacked out in a long time, but, but it's bad. And then motherfuckers yeah. be telling you you was doing shit. Yeah. Like, uh, like, the last time I, bl- I blacked out, I fucking, um, I punched a lamp. Oh, no. So, like, my fingers all cut up. Now, and I woke up in my hotel room, and there's blood everywhere. It's glass everywhere. It's throw up everywhere. Oof. And I don't know what the fuck just happened. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you wake up, you're seeing this shit. And I was like, fuck, I need to get another drink. <laughs> and my homie I was with, he like you got blood glass and throw up and you still going yeah <laughs> like i mean i don't know how to stop this yeah. like what like once you come down from this moment you're gonna realize what fucked up shit you did so i was trying to act keep one. going yeah. yeah what did i say last night did i do anything that's crazy, the know? panic moment though yes. when you go like such a panic i uh, man i remember like the one of the last ones that i did was like it was years ago but i was had this job out here in la and uh Everybody from the office got together at this bar on Sunset. I remember it. I was this? there, and yeah, no, you weren't there with me. Was this your birthday? No, no, no. When no. you jumped rope on the on the that was patio, different time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. that was a different time. It's before we were dating yeah. or started dating. Yeah, yeah, but so I knew like, you were the guy like for a me. Year before that, before we started dating, I was at working at this job at an entertainment company, and we went out, and I just all I remember was, well, I remember nothing. I remember like the before the blackout. So then I, my friend was like, man. Everybody <laughs> was gathered around. Your friends say that. You're yeah, right. they're no. like, oh man. Like, everyone was gathered around, and you were holding court, like telling a story, <laughs> and people were laughing. And you were just like almost performing to them, right? And he goes, and you were super <laughs> fucked up. He goes, in the middle of the story, you just projectile vomit. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, then you you were like, you know, after you puke, you spit. You're like, like try to get it out. He goes, spit, and then you, you kind of leaned, stood back up. And you kept telling your story. Like, <laughs> like nothing happened. Yeah. And everybody was like, <laughs> we're out of here, man. And I was like mortified yeah. because it was friends, but it was also people from work. Yeah, we work, yeah. So that was like Saturday night. So then Monday morning, you go, I would go into work and everybody was like, you are, <laughs> you, are you got a lot of problems. You are yeah. 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 But that's why we can only be comedians and rappers. I mean, you, yes, you know this what is I true. mean? This is true. What you the kinda, fuck are you going to do? You kind of get a pass for it. Yeah. 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 People think you're peaceful. Definitely anyway. if you're... Yeah. <laughs> If you're performing doing that shit, everyone's like, that's cool. That's like another story for <laughs> yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Because I, I can't really, I don't know, I can't really have to like have a little something to go on stage. Like, I, yeah. I get weirded out by a whole bunch of people just staring at me type shit. Sure. So I'd like to have a few drinks before I go on stage. But a few drinks end up turning to me being drunk as hell. Yeah. And I do always worry when I wake up the next day of saying crazy shit because I've done it so many times where like, I'm definitely a habitual just line stepper yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, when i get drunk i almost get a kick out of like pushing people buttons and shit yeah that's the fun part of yeah. drinking. Yeah. and i was doing shit that you wouldn't be doing sober yeah type shit so yeah. and i don't like that because that's like you turn into another person yeah what I, are you drinking i drink tequila Th- that oh, shit makes yeah. you wild <laughs> because i used to drink a lot of hennessy coming up and that just gave you so much heartburn and um, and the browns the next day the yeah. Hennessy browns uh, is some next level shit you yeah. know what i'm saying so really to, yeah. it's hot but tequila doesn't give you hot browns it's mud Man, yeah you just dropping mud yeah <laughs> oh, oh, let's do it Next talk, brown talk. Brown talk. Yeah, man. Yeah. Can I tell you, this morning, I had my first official shard. Of 2019. Of 2019. Now, here's the thing. Here's the deal, man. I've had one other shard. When we flew to Africa, I sharded on the way, but that's because I had three tacos. tacos. Yeah, that's that that's a crazy. stupid idea. Yeah. But it, was a, it wasn't it was liquid shard. This morning was liquid. Like, I farted and, like, liquid came out of my oh, butthole. Oh, that's disgusting. Yeah, yeah, and then I had diarrhea. Is that oh. what happened and when you drank Hennessy? And she won't eat my ass. <laughs> 
Is that what you had with your Hennessy? Hennessy is just a, it's a thing. It's a more of a morning. I, the worst is is Molly. If people that know, if you take Molly, yeah. that's why when you go to those festival toilets, you go to the porta potties. Yeah, the motherfuckers is just they just spraying. Is that it's right? Like almost oh, shit it just, just makes you go. Uh, yeah, yeah, instantly. And I remember um, I had a show. I opened up for um, Childers Gambino at Central Park. Whoa. And I did a little money. Whoa, that's crazy, before man. Before I went on stage. <laughs> <laughs> what's it like, I remember. Dude, what's it like doing that, though? Central Park? Yeah, Isn't that's that crazy, crazy kid. that that's on the resume? But when no? you took Molly, you was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just remember being on stage and just having the hour long conversation with myself, like, you about to shit on yourself. Yeah. And I was saying to myself, like, all right, this is going to happen because you're just starting. Like, I yeah. still got yeah. 45 minutes of this shit to go. And this, he peeking. You know what I'm saying? He's looking out the curtains. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm at this point. I started thinking like, like, maybe Donald got some old shorts or something for me. Yeah. But like, maybe I can shit. But I'm like, oh, my socks is white. So <laughs> <laughs> I had on like these long shorts. So I thought I could maybe beat the case. Fuck, man. I like shit in these shorts. But I mean, make a long story <laughs> short. I mean, it was a very agonizing, terrible set. For me, but I think I, I think it was a good set for the crowd. Oh yeah, <laughs> they're not they're not watching like that dude needs to shit. Yeah, right now. for some reason, when you're under adversity, like yeah. you play your best shows. Like I yeah. always yes. know when I'm sick or when I really don't even feel like doing it. That's when I always had my best sets. Yeah. But I remember sprinting from the motherfucking yeah. stage to the porta potty, and when like I said, when I went in there, somebody sprayed that motherfucker up already. <laughs> so I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> but after that, it was a party. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> fuck, after man. that, I was having a good time. Because you find that when you're sick or you have diarrhea, doesn't your body kind of shut it down when you perform? Man, like yeah. your the adrenaline kicks in and like your body knows like, oh, we can't shit right now. I got real <laughs> sick in Europe. I don't know. I mean, I was just, and I had like maybe three weeks of shows left. Ugh. I had to perform like every other night. I'm talking about where to be a day of me just like in bed, rap. It's, and for some reason, man, in Europe, man, they don't got their heat right. Like, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. It's always cold as fuck in the hotel rooms and oh, shit. Oh, yeah. No matter yeah. how how you cut it's this so shit true. up. I wonder why they always drinking tea in London and shit. Yeah. Because you motherfuckers don't, y'all heat don't work right. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> so you got to stay warm yourself in that bitch. So I couldn't get healthy yeah. for shit. I should have probably went to a hospital, but you know when you're black, you're like, fuck that shit. I ain't got no insurance, man. I ain't going to that shit. Especially I ain't going to no motherfucking fucking hospital in Helsinki. I don't know what the fuck yeah. going on in Finland. You know what I'm saying? So I rolled it out like a G and got myself back home. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, sick, sick on stage sucks. And yeah, that's the worst. Sucks. This is the worst. I was sick as fuck and playing one of my shows. Somebody just having too much fun just douse me with like a full glass of water oh shit, no. shit. which is normal shit in like rap shows you know yeah. we put water on each other but motherfucker i'm damn i got pneumonia yeah you know what i'm saying so yeah i cut that show early. you're right about <laughs> that heat i think it's because they have old heating yeah systems. they do old shit, those yeah. fucking old dumb vents in the floor or maybe the stupid you know yeah. the winding looks like intestines. europe's dope except for that that kind of shit and then like their we toilets get, we get suck spoiled. too. We also get spoiled for space. Like you go to yeah. someone's apartment, you're like, the fuck, you it's live nowhere. here? Tell you the smallest thing for me was the ice situation. Yeah. Ice. Anytime you order, they give you four ice cubes. Like yeah. motherfucker, and you're I like, know. man, no. fill this motherfucker cup up with ice. Yeah. <laughs> I, I went. I was at a place, and I still remember in Italy where I was like, I yeah. ordered a, like a Coke, mm -hmm. and I was like, ice, and the guy was like, ice. <laughs> and then that's it. Buddy. Yeah. He, 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 he told another guy, he's like, this dude wants ice, <laughs> and then that guy left. And they're like, like and then fuck with this shit. like ten minutes later, I'm like, hey man, they're like, he's going to get it. I'm like, he's going to get it. From yeah, your, next door. We're at a restaurant, and then you know, twenty minutes later, the dude came back. He was like, yeah, we couldn't find any ice. No, yeah, yeah. Euros don't like ice, and also everything has a fucking door, right? They yeah. have five hundred doors inside of a house. You got to oh, yeah, put yeah. two doors in the bathroom, and then a door here, and the door, 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 door. It's terrible. Yeah, I love it out there, but yeah, the living yeah. conditions are are not American. Yeah. 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 We're used to crazy we spoiled, shit. Man. We yeah. spoiled. Like I like when there was that. What was that show when they would they would move? Remember, I know. like uh, not house hunters, but yeah, is it like house hunters, hunters international? international yeah. And they were like, we live in Nashville in yeah. a seven thousand square foot house, yeah. and we're moving our six kids to yeah. Belgium. And then yeah. they would be like, here's the apartment; it's three hundred fifty square feet. Yeah, good luck. Yeah, yeah. And, and the kitchen is in the toilet. Yeah. Remember, you have to yeah. you have to cook your shit in the toilet. You cook here. You can also iron right <laughs> next to like, the fridge has an iron on it. Americans are like, no, yeah. dude, no, I can't take it. I want to be fat. I want yeah. to have <laughs> a full cup of ice. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. A lot of ice <laughs> for sure. I want my heat on seventy eight. You yeah. know, what yeah. I'm 
Yes, that's what I'm talking <laughs> about, Danny Brown. Let's talk about it. Yeah. What's your I'm thermostat? A- be real. Like, be be honest here. In a hotel room? Yeah. I blast that motherfucker until the, the killer can't stop. You know what really? I'm saying? Yeah, I want this shit to be hot. Yeah. I mean, I'm from Michigan, so we always <laughs> cold. So wherever I'm at, I want to think I'm at a warm climate. You know that fucking yeah, psycho you met in the hall with mm-hmm. the t-shirt on? Yeah. That dude literally will turn heat off in the winter and just live in the cold. You know, air. that's white people shit. Hey, yeah. <laughs> like yeah. You know who else it's it is crazy. though? It's not just white people shit, it's serial killer shit. Oh yeah, yeah. definitely. Mm-hmm. Cause yeah. the motherfuckers in Michigan, like right now, it's like motherfucking motherfucking Arctic Arctic blast. Sucks. And, yeah. and these motherfuckers were still out there jogging and shit. No, yeah. what the fuck is wrong with you, yeah. dude? Like one day you couldn't chill, you'll, but one yes. day you'll see somebody like at a Michigan game, like you know, mm-hmm. shirtless. Like, yeah, hey, shirtless, go big yeah, blue. Yeah, yeah, and you're, no, like, you're out of your you're fucking dying, mind, dude. Dying. I feel the same way when I see maniacs jogging and it's pouring rain here in LA. I'm like, you can't. I feel take... like they really like a douchebag, like asshole yeah. type of person. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, motherfucker? You know, it's a motherfucker don't want to work out anyway. Yeah. You trying yeah. to tell me it's twenty degrees below zero? You just gonna run? I got it. And they stare you in the face while yeah. you driving back. Like, you see me? I'm doing my thing. Do you think that bad motherfucker we open with? You think he's uh, out there doing that shit? You know, with the cool facial hair and the no hell no, <laughs> no man. He's nice. That motherfucker. He he he. One of the motherfuckers that bought one of those um the shot the shot your ass type shit. Yes. He just, he just, yes. yes. And then he goes. He bought one of those abracadabra. Yeah. Uh, the shake. Uh, shit. The shake. <laughs> He ain't getting up to work out. You no. know what I'm saying? No. <laughs> shake weights, dude. Looks like you're jerking off on the whole oh, number totally. shake weights. Oh, Danny, where yeah. is any any big show, any shows you want to plug? Anything? I mean, I can't. I got a lot of stuff going on. I mean, I just really finished my new album. But Fuck like yeah. I say, stuff just, I've done so much. It's still so fresh. I can't really talk about stuff. Okay. Which kind of sucks. I guess next time I'll come back. But for, yeah. uh, you got to come back. Yeah. With Please your come cape. Back. With yeah. the cape. Bring the cape. <sighs> Bring your $3,000 cape. I just had that motherfucker. Yes. Yeah, y'all donate it. I'll, yes. I'll give it to the dog. Yes, I'll donate it to, <laughs> uh, to, to the studio. Oh. That motherfucker need to get some use because that's the dumbest person. You know I what? I'll start life. wearing that shit to shows, man. <laughs> I swear to God, it's the dumbest person. I, I definitely will bring it cape. back. I can't forget that. Actually, in the dumbest part, I have like another one. It's not a Rick Owens, though. But. You got another cape? I actually got another one. And it's a, um, <laughs> what the fuck? It's from Oak. It's from Oak. But it's like a, I want to say like a cloak. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever wear it? And it has a hood. Yeah. yeah. I'm performing this shit. Oh, really? <laughs> You're like, so goth, kind of. I like it. No, I had a phase of that. Yeah, yeah. kind of dark. Yeah. I and like that. It was that. just cool at the time. Now yeah. it's like. I'm more into just being comfortable, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. especially like the last time I wore skinny jeans, my dick just shriveled up <laughs> inside me because I've been wearing it so long. I've been wearing jogging pants and shit. Oh, like, me fuck. too, man. Oh yeah. The like, best. I just don't think I could wear skinny jeans no more. This nah. must be a life uh, phase because I'm all into these me comfy too. pants right oh, now. No, yes, yeah, comfy pants. I can't believe I was flying in jeans for Wait, 15 years. Oh, that's the years. dumbest <laughs> shit ever. <laughs> for like just, 15 years. I just did it recently, trying to be cool, trying to arrive cool and shit. But I'm always a pajama. Like I got these yeah. pants for you. I'm gonna send you these pants. Please, right, we'll t- I'll tell you as soon as we do. <laughs> uh, you're first of all hilarious. You're Aww. a phenomenal guest. Oh, amazing thank you. musician. Love you. Uh, if you guys want the the website, at least we'll keep people updated, right? Uh, I barely keep that. Up. Really? <laughs> Twitter? Nothing? Yeah, Twitter. Pretty all right. much. Danny Brown. X Danny X Brown X at Twitter, Instagram. All my shit is X Danny X Brown X. All but right. yeah, Twitch. I'm mostly twitching. So, all right. Well, there it is. Um, thank you so much for thank coming, you, man. Thank you guys for having me. We, so great. Had a blast. Finally, get to kick it with the moms. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. <laughs> Shouts out the jeans. You know what I'm saying? Keep high and tight. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Are you kidding me? We're gonna fill this up. I like that thought. All of us. I just say my Darth Brooks. Darth Brooks. Darth Brooks. In my dream. Darth Brooks. Darth Darth Brooks. Darth Brooks. In my dream. Darth Darth Brooks. Woo! Darth Brooks. Darth Brooks. In my dream. And let's get Darth Brooks. Darth Darth Brooks. And let's get Darth Brooks. In my dream. Darth Darth Brooks. And I like that Darth Brooks. Darth Brooks. In my dream. And let's get Darth Brooks. Darth Darth Brooks. And let's get Darth Brooks. In my dream. Darth Darth Brooks. I like that. I